then. Hey everyone, welcome to our Monday Night Clock Tower stream here at the Grim. Hello Twitch, hello YouTube. I am Evil Steve. I'm going to be your stream host for the night, but mostly just a co-ST because we're doing something a little different. We are doing our demon, mono demon script competition winners tonight. And I will be joined by some of the competition winners to take a seat and run their scripts. Uh, and we're going to be joined tonight by some amazing acolytes from the Grim screen, the Grim stream team. So say hello, Grim stream team. Hello. 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 Told you not to cross the stream. Look at my. <laughs> um, let's see. So tonight is the script competition winners here on stream. We're going to be playing the top three scripts that won our competition um, as judged by our judging panel. And uh, for those of you who didn't win, I just want to say we had 23 great entries into this contest. And all our judging system did was ask the judges to submit their top five favorite of the bunch in a ranked order. So just because you didn't end up a winner doesn't mean your script wasn't good, right? It just had to be exceptional or extra or catch enough eyes to wind up on multiple judges list at the end of the night um at the end of the competition and most scripts ended up with some judge making a list so uh it's, it's not set up in a way to rank all 23 so i don't feel right saying oh you got last place or you got like fifth place it is all about bubbling those few to the top which we're gonna see tonight um yeah so without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and announce our winners in third place we have dr octopus written by fm jason and bambi who this might be a, not so much of a surprise because bambi's sitting in the co-st seat with me hi bambi hello bonjour. <laughs> bonjour so uh dr octopus is a no dashi script that heavily leans into the drunk and poisoning angle uh with multiple multiple instances of that and uh, a nice scarlet woman safety net in case something goes uh, terribly. What are you doing, Mike? <laughs> Got multiple camera <laughs> angles going on. Like, that's amazing. Anyhow, uh, congratulations, Bambi and FM Jason. Uh, second place tonight, the second script we're going to be running is called Harudo Therapy by Flying L Ludicolo. Uh, this is a leech script where the emphasis is not so much on finding the demon. But finding the hosts. Can town work out who needs to die before time runs out? Also featuring evil twins and pit hags for extra, extra chaos. So that one came second place on the judges list. And in first place, we have Nat Love with stiff friends on stiffer grounds. And Nat Love is a regular here on the stream, so you've seen her play with us before, and hopefully she'll be around to join us to run the third script tonight if we don't go too late. Uh, but this script is based around the Vigor Mortis, along with the paranoia of having your dead neighbors possibly causing you to be poisoned. And this pairs with the spy uh, to make sure you get the perfect Vigor kills, and it wouldn't be a Nat script without some pit hack shenanigans, barber shenanigans, but no damsel, surprisingly. So I don't think there was a damsel. But anyways, congratulations, Nat, on taking first place in our competition. And I can't wait to see all three uh, run tonight. And for a second game, uh, Flying Ludicolo should also be joining us to, to co-ST that one. So we should see all the script winners uh, tonight. So congratulations to all of you. Yes, yes. Round of applause. Round of applause. You can cut when they're not mute. It's fine. Please clap. <laughs> So congrats hey, Steve, to, um, yeah. Oh, I had a question. So for our viewers, uh, if they want to download these scripts, where can they go to get them? Yeah, so there's a couple options. First of all, if you come to join.thegrim.gg, nice spot for the plug, Rob, thank you. You can get access to our Discord server, and we have the script competition um, section with all 23 scripts that have been submitted. Uh, and there's many that didn't make this top cut that I do plan to run in the near future. So keep your eye open and you can grab every single script that was submitted for the competition. Um, in addition to that, on the uh, the BOTC scripts database run by Admiral GT, a lot of the users have ta have uploaded the scripts to that and they gave us our own tag for the competition. So you'll see it'll say the Grim Mono Demon. You can find the scripts there. And I've submitted the winners to Admiral 
GT, and they should be marked as script competition winners probably sometime tomorrow. So then you'll uh, have a little badge of honor to go down on your script for the rest of time. So thanks to him awesome. for setting that up. Sweet. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Let's get going without too much further ado. Let's get jumping on game one. I'm going to grab Bambi. Uh, we'll be back. Uh, Steve, do you see my text? I did not. Wait. Let me go back real quick. What was the text, Jerome? Uh, because, uh, because, yeah, I don't mind giving my CP if you want. Uh, I mean, that's up to you. If you want to swap out with her while we're setting up the Grim, that's fine. But technically, or, you know. No, I don't. I don't mind. Take out the seat when I leave. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for joining us on the stream. I know it's stream. It's got to be very late for you, I imagine. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Okay. I heard you're a bit of an insomniac. So tell us about your script. Um, what what was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, the inspiration, we, we were thinking Nodashi for Solo Demon was uh, interesting because uh, all neighbors will like paranoia like do my information are poison do i trust my information and we're thinking also the goon could be interesting for trying to know that she or it is a uh, night no death because of the goon or because of the the monk so all this combination we find interesting with the Nodashi. We have some manas with the Seren of Us, the Scarlet Woman who can swap the, the Nodashi. So, right. And the marionette can also hide in the, the neighbors. So, so yeah, we're fucking all the intention was interesting with the Chamberman, the mathematician, fortune teller. So you have enough information for the turn and some mess, for, mess up for, for the evil team. Yeah, there was a lot of really fun interactions I saw on it, especially um, uh, like, you know, with no dashy, it always comes down to can people pinpoint where the misinformation is coming from. And when you have things like marionettes and drunks or or possibly goon messing with people's information, it can really make it a little bit more um, challenging to pinpoint that down. So it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, we run it in French. It's working very well, but it's depend of the player, I think. <laughs> Fair. Well, we have nine players for this first game, so that means we only get a one minion game. We know the demon's going to be Nodashi because that's the whole point of the competition. So if you had your choice, which minion best represents this script that we should set up? Uh, so we have only one minion. I was thinking either Scarlet Woman or Serenovus. Which one it has, uh, you had best luck with running before? Uh, I don't know. I, I run with twelve players, so <laughs> right. I had the the Scarlet Woman and the the Seven of Us, so it, it was a lot of a mess. Tell you what, uh, let's put a Scarlet Woman in play just so that we don't have a day one rewreck. <laughs> yeah. At the very least, we'll make it a few days in, right? Yeah, at least. And yeah. you can put so. You sold me on Goon, by the way. Yeah, we got We got to do Goon. Yeah, I love the Goon. And what do you think for the, another outside? Do you have strong preference? Uh, is there a Muton or a Cruise? Yeah. Or even, yeah, I think, yeah, one of them is, could be funny. I like the Mutant. We'll, we'll, we'll run with the Mutant. That way they'll be a little bit more complicated yeah. trying to figure out where the poisoning goes, right? Um. Yeah. Any five? Do you want me to just shuffle on the, on the Townsfolk or is there a setup you think is going to best showcase it? I'm going to check. You can select him if you want on your end. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Good mutant. I like the chamberman and the mathematician. If, if you have enough energy for for count the mathematician. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, maybe this one. Uh, Raven Kiva could be funny. You could. And it's going to hide uh, their wall. So what we have. So for the evil team, we have only the demon who can turn the, the goon. Mm -hmm. So I don't think we're going to put a lot of uh, wall who can pick the goon for good. So maybe just a chamberlain. And do you have a great servant info to give? 
Um, I can definitely come up with some stuff. Yeah, we got, uh, if, if I get stuck, we'll run the Savant generator that we have and uh, it'll help me uh, get my brain unstuck. But I think Savant, we're good with, yeah. Yeah, so we can put Savant and we can put also either a Stuart could be interesting. Okay. Just and for the blood, we can, pull, we can pull our call. Chagra, maybe one of the... Yeah, for the blood, we can put our call, I think, if the, for the chamber main, depend where the chamber main. Mm -hmm. Our call is a good bluff. Uh, Chagra and Philo, why not, like this? Yeah, make your own bluff, main. why not? Like this, the Scarlet Woman, if they are on double claim, it's working. Exactly. Uh, All we right. are good like this. Two out, think... Chamber Main, Mathematician, Savant, Raven Keeper. Yeah, I think it looks good. In Goon, Mutant, Scarlet Woman. So we passed uh, the characters. Yeah, let's pass them. Uh, the, the, yeah, uh, evil, the Goon is mostly like going to just be like... Um, distraction here because there's not a lot of evil picking except for the Nadashi. Yeah. But if it, if it happens that's in a nine player game, that's really powerful for evil. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we have the Shambamain who can back to Goon and for evil, just the Nadashi. The only thing I would say is like, do we want to potentially give like a bluff for like a uh like a monk or something? That way there's an explanation if there's no kill at night. Because if yeah, no we can kill put instead of a Shugla. Or we could let them philosopher monk that's always on the table with this right yeah oh jonah yeah. said the same thing in chat right without saying it nice uh okay. because that way we, we cover why there was no kill right yeah so we can either do philosopher or monk i mean philosopher lets them philo monk if they want i don't know or we can move the juggler and put the monk i don't know yeah let's let's just uh so the juggler monk oracle it it might nail the Scarlet Woman. There's no bluff that lines up with the Scarlet Woman because always there's no like no not waking power. But I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Let's swap the juggler for um for the monk. For the monk. Gonna, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna pass out these characters in the meantime. Yeah. Let's All right. See. Okay. Oh, the next. <laughs> What's fine? So Rob, Mike, the Guna. It's perfect. It's it's poison the the raven keeper on the chamber main. <laughs> yeah, that's that pretty. those tendrils are going really far around the circle. Yeah, that's so, pretty. K the chambermaid and Bryant the raven keeper will have tendrils through them. Um, right. There's not going to be a lot of misinformation for the mathematician. Yeah. Hmm. And the Savannah is going to get interesting here, right? Like, uh, we'll have to come up with something good to help Lucy uh, narrow down their worlds. All right. Yeah, yeah. Even even if the Nodashi dies and passes as a Scarlet Woman, it's the same poison yeah, targets, the same too. Poisons. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that is. That is interesting. All right. Let's... Fun. Any any setup? Uh, we already did the poison tendrils. We, who are we going to show Donald to? Do we double down yeah. on like Lucy, Mc or do we go somewhere else? Okay, we can we can put Brian? That would be funny. Okay, we can do that. That's that's really it. That's the only setup we got to do. Yeah, we could. All right, let's send him to sleep. We, we I love those. All right, players, you should have your rolls. Go to sleep. And uh, good night. Donald, why is your token red on the outside? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So first in the night order, uh, no philosopher, so we can go straight to the minion info. Mike. Of course, always Mike. Uh, it's okay this is next to the demon, so... You can yeah, have they'll... bluff uh, early in the morning. That's very true. Uh, this is the demon. Send it. You send Brilliant. the cards. Yeah, so I sent Mike his info. I'll send Rob. These are your minions and the bluffs. <laughs> Mike says no, which is probably. <laughs> probably. 
Um, wow, we just skip all these other roles and go straight to the steward. So, um, chat's coming up with, uh, with savant info richard says either there's a nodashi in play or i don't think that works on this script richard as well as you might think <laughs> <laughs> if they're poison right. you could give them like either there's a nodashi on the script or something else that's entirely false which would be funny uh do we not put monk i thought we switched it for monk oh i guess we didn't oops my bad i guess i thought you you you, you did it yeah it's fine they can always file a monk if they really want yeah um yeah i mean maybe that was we we came up with such a good plan and then we didn't execute my bad uh all right let's wake donald and say this player bryant Brian. is good he's never right? going to believe it he's going to no. think he's the next one of the <laughs> exactly uh hmm. this player bryant is good i think that's how you would communicate that yeah okay or do we just point at a player? Because he doesn't actually need to learn his good, right? You just start knowing one good player. So we just wake him and yeah, send him a, a player. Brian. Yeah, it just just learned the name. There we go. McKay, wake, make a choice. All right, mm -hmm. so some of the information. Uh, so some good Savannah info could be around. The Nodashi poisoning is jumping one person as a false. Uh, there's no monk or all outsiders are next to each other. Um, all your other ideas already scrolled off chat. So you have to, you have to type them again. Oh, right, here we go. Um, one could be all the outsiders are next to each other. That makes sense. At least one player poisoned by the Nodashi is neighboring the Nodashi, which is not true, which is actually kind of funny. All right. McKay picks Denny boy and Tiffy. Uh, so McKay is drunk. Yeah. Denny I guess boy. we would show a one. Yeah. That's what what be, do you think yeah. here? McKay's already poisoned, so we can already do whatever we want. But picking two people that don't wake up and showing that they wake up and neither one of them is evil feels pretty good. Yeah. Like this. So you can think maybe the goon is evil and wake, wake up. So I wake up the first night. Yeah, so I'm gonna do a one. And I mean the the Nodashi is far away, so if if she mm -hmm. think if they think uh, some neighbors are Nodashi. So she, anyway. Becca will learn a one. Correct. Yeah, Each night you learn how many players' abilities work abnormally due to another character's ability. The only one that's false at this point is gonna be chambermaid right am i wrong no i think uh, we're good okay i i, I hate mathematician because i always come up with a number and learn later that okay. like there's some so, other weird thing yeah just so the shaman main is poison so it's just the one yeah so yeah, Mac is poison. So I mean, technically, McKay is being affected by two different people's abilities, but still, their ability is the only one that's misfiring. So one it is, yeah. Yeah, she she have a one. Yeah, Becca's she take, gonna get she a take one. the good. So she drunk, she drunk and poison in the same time. So, but I think she, it's a one. Okay, that's really it. So let's nail down the savant really quick. Um, I do think that maybe the false piece of information could be that, uh, the Nodashi is poisoning exactly one neighbor, yeah, which, which is false. And then maybe the true piece of information could be that the goon was targeted last night. Either yeah. the goon was targeted by, by evil, well, yeah. But evil doesn't, the only evil that gets, there's no evil choice made in night one. I guess Sarah Novus, right? Um, so yeah. if we want it to be true, we would just say the goon is chosen, but not necessarily the goon, goon is chosen by evil. Just the goon was targeted last night. Um, or we could say both of your neighbors got correct information. Yeah, I like this one. 
it's like a positional right we're dealing with like a positional game so we're going to give a lot of positional information but i like the both of you never get correct information this names. all right so we'll say the no dashi is poisoning exactly one neighbor or both your neighbors got true and got correct information last night yeah i do like giving uh savant info that makes them talk with other players because it makes them more social right it makes them go out and solve the game with each other not just sit back passively yeah i like the when they can solve the game by the social more than the mechanic yep it's, it's all interesting um so Jonah, I don't like doing the reminder token at like the, the counter reminder tokens, mostly because I don't know that I use the reminder tokens accurately 100%. And I always feel bad assuming that the player knows how the reminder tokens work too. So I, I always avoid reminder tokens Savant info if I can. Okay. I know there's something uh, I like to do, but it's fine. <laughs> oh, no, no, we can do it. I'm just Jonah in chat was, was giving some Savant. And I, I, I'm not very like strict with how I mark things and I forget things all the time. So I could say like they have two tokens, but they could really have three and it would be on me and I feel bad. So let's go. Let's go wake him up and start the game. Oh, we'll keep an eye and see. Uh, what happened? All right. Good morning, town. Unfortunately, strangled to death by the tentacles of an Odashi. You find your storytellers, Evil Steve and Bambi. Avenge us. Find the Nodashi. I'll give you guys four minutes for the first day. All right. Oh, gosh. I need to chat. Tiffy. Nope, not Tiffy. Donald? Ah. I'm the man out. Uh, well, let me start a timer. I'm so slow. I didn't get to talk to anybody. That's the bad thing about nine. You get one person left out. You just got to do a three way chat, Rob. Yeah, I'm going to jump into somebody's chat. That's what I'm going to do. Who should I jump into? I'm going to jump into... Okay. Because not many... Because you just have to look at roles that actually go on the first night. Right. Which... Really quick, let's cover all the people that have uh, been tuning in. Uh, 11 Rye 11, thanks for the follow. Jeffy, thanks for the five community gift subs while you're on vacation with your family. Go back to your family vacation. Uh, Ozdek and... August Lou and Sam H2O. Thanks you guys for the follow. You guys are awesome. The goon can't be drunk either. So sure. like it's not the outsiders, so pass them. But yep, yeah, I'm goon. You're mathematician. We got this. Let's go. Oh, you're goon? Yep. Okay. See cool. ya. Neat. I think I'll hold on to my steward information for a little. Yeah, bit. I wasn't going to ask. There's a lot of um, misinformation that I'm. Yeah, Mark, the math got a one. Okay. Well, good luck. All right. Very good, Mike. Thank you. This was one of the few scripts that had a um, a jinx on it, but the jinx is only that the chambermaid will learn if the mathematician wakes up that night. So it's not too crazy of a jinx. Um, I'll give you Math Librarian Ravenkeeper. I will give you... Hold on, I'm figuring out the order here. <laughs> Chambermaid Math Savant. Chambermaid Math Savant. Okay. Yeah. How's Thank that? you. Okay, bye. Sounds good. One player mm -hmm. who is on a good team, right? If I'm not, if I'm not, if I'm not drunk or drunk or tentacle, or strangled. Right. So, can you give me a hint as to who your pings might be? Who, which people or person? My two, my two arch enemies. Sam, I put the script in the link. You can click it right there in the chat too. Okay. So Mike and I, either Mike and I are on good terms. He's never, uh, he's never come after me the way, the, uh, way those two had. <laughs> So either they are librarian pings, um, or one of them is your steward ping, right? Correct. How about? 
Hey. Um. Good. What do you want to do? Um, I'm either an outsider or I'm the juggler. I see. I'm either the Raven's Keeper, the Savant, or I'm something else. Cool. I love that. It's like a three for three, but shittier and worse. <laughs> I mean, take a look at the script. The, the script. I don't know why I said it like that. Uh, you know, just just look. You can figure it out. No, I really can't. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry about that. Good it didn't luck. have to be so shitty, but... <laughs> uh, cool. Um, t- yeah. you, you can juggle me as something else. Cool. I will juggle you as something else. One of my f- precious few juggles. Yes. Hey, uh, all right. All right. Okay. Well, I know you're... Oh, I know you're not the steward, so... Very good. All right. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> no. Mike, let's chat real quick. Oh. Define the gong. Yeah, oh, 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 and he's left. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Serves you right. <laughs> Come back, Mike. Welcome back to town, everyone. Anyway, that's why we don't like Mike. Oh, welcome back, Mike. <laughs> Welcome back, Mike. Oh, real quick, one second. Hi, Lucy. Hello. Is Bambi or are you giving me the info? We can give it either one. Should be fine. Um, are you here to bluff Savant, Lucy? Uh, sure, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, so your Savant information is going to be that either the Nodashi is poisoning exactly one of its neighbors or... Both your neighbors got correct information last night. Ooh, this both feel really big. Um, okay. It's almost like either I'm the good Nodashi that's giving people good information, or uh, the actual Nodashi is weaker. That's nice. All right. Uh, nice. Fair. It's clinging. So- All right. Um... I will open the floor for juggles. Tiffy? I will juggle myself as the savant. I will juggle Donald as the... And then all four minions. Yeah, not all four minions for Donald. Okay, juggles heard. Mike? I like to juggle myself as the juggler. Bryant as... Uh, the Serenovis, Becca as the mathematician, Lucy as the savant, and Donald Bain as the recluse. Okay, juggles heard. Uh, Rob. Yeah, I like to juggle myself as the juggler, Denny Boy as an Odashi, McKay as an Odashi, Tiffy as an Odashi, and Donald Bain as an Odashi. Juggles heard. Why would you juggle me as the Dodashi? <laughs> you know, full well that you'll be wrong. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> Oops. Why would you do this to me? Brian? Oops. I'd like to juggle McKay through Lucy clockwise inclusive as the Nodashi. All right. Juggles heard. Is juggler on the script? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Juggler is interesting on a one demon script. That's... All right. Yeah, it's powerful, right? Very powerful. Yes, Nominations but... are open. Well, I only got to talk to two people, and one of them was for eight seconds. So. Oh, I talked to a bunch of people. What were you doing? I was an odd man out in the first conversation. Oh, Everyone else went to talk, sorry. and I was the last one. That's yeah. almost always me. Hmm. Me. Oh, what the heck? Denny Boy Brian. nominates Tiffy. Denny what? Boy nominates Tiffy. Oh. Tell us why. I heard you've been going around town spreading rumors. I don't know what you're <laughs> talking about. Which may or may not be rumors. true. I have not spread a single rumor. Hold on a second. Mm. I'm just translating my information. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anything else in your defense, Tiffy? No. Five needed. Just three is good. 
It's time to it's time to uh, right. underbring that guillotine on these uh, on these uh, on these uh, on these nails. All right, I might as well. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Three is not enough. Three Tiffy is nine. safe right. from execution. I'll get you next time. Becca nominates Bryant. Becca nominates Bryant. Tell us why. Uh, with the role that he claimed to me, it's easier to get him off the board earlier, um, and not have to worry about change dilemmas later. Uh, it's not easier if you've been made Sarah mad as something else you're trying to get executed to stay evil. All right, five needed. Oh, I don't like that. Cowards. Oh. <laughs> Five's enough. You, Bryant's on the block. Becca stepped up. <laughs> Wasted by his own petard. Becca, I told you you were my marionette. That's a very rude word, Donald. And I told you I didn't believe you. Okay. Uh, Bryant nominates Donald. Bryant nominates Donald. Tell us why. Look, guys. <laughs> it's Donald. Okay. <laughs> Like, lift me off the block, because otherwise we're going to get a godfather kill, so let's just kill Donald. I mean, nobody really objects to that, right? Um, I Donald? object to it. <laughs> uh, you don't count. I, I object strenuously to it, especially because, uh, uh, because uh, as I think uh, I think that uh, if if what Becca uh, says is true, that, uh, 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 the Brian uh, might be the, uh, the best one to get out of the way at this point. You don't even know what I am, Donald. Five will tie, six to execute. For what it's worth, I believe Bryant. My uh, inflammation de savant doesn't point that way, but... Two's not enough. I think I'm going to bring this day to a close. In three, two, one... Brian is executed and dies. Go to sleep. Uh, Rob, Jerome yeah. heard that and he is offended. I don't know what it was. Wow, they executed the Raven Keeper. <laughs> yeah, just execute the Raven Keeper pretending to be the goon for some reason. I guess trying to get killed by the demon, maybe? Yeah, it's not working. Didn't work, but... So that is one source of poison info that will not help them find the Nodashi, because uh, yeah. Brian will never hook fire. Very interesting. I think Rob is breathing over call, and I don't, and I don't know for Mike. Okay. Yeah, Mike's, I think he was going juggler based on what I heard, but I'm not 100% yeah. sure. Yeah, we can ask in the night. Um, so Mike does not proc. We'll get Rob's kill. I think the best kill is still the shaman. <laughs> think so? Yeah. Selfishly, I hope he kills the savant because the savant was very public about being the savant, like waited till everyone came back to town square and then went and got their info, you know? So we don't have to come up with more info if, uh, <laughs> if he kills the savant for us. Um, let's try to see, like the... Denny was double claiming Stewart, I think, or something like that. And Tiffy's double claiming Savant. Yeah, so there's a fun. lot. There's a lot of fun, uh, fun shenanigans going on with the Assetters. All right, Rob's pick is in the chambermaid, just like you you thought. Yeah. Did All it. right. It's very Good. hiding. Information. Yeah. All right. Um. So that means um, Bram Cooper doesn't go off. McKay's dead. No pick. Uh, which gives Becca like a zero because nothing, nothing yeah. actually went off. So it's a zero now. All right, let's uh, let's cover Savant really quick then, right? So, what can we do? We've given some positional information, right? So Lucy either believes that Donald and Becca got good information, or that the Nodashi was poisoning exactly one neighbor. Um, we could go into the madness angle and say there's one person in town under the effects of madness, which oh, would yeah, then, yeah. yeah, it is kind of powerful because if the mutant ever comes out or if we ever execute the mutant, it pretty much confirms the other half of this as being false. So what can we give on the other half? That's not too damning for evil. 
Yeah, I like the madness because it's uh, it could be someone who's said hello since the beginning. Yeah. What if what if we um, give like you know there's a character there's there's exactly one character under the effects of madness in play or there are no alive players poisoned, which is true, but really wild. It does a hundred percent point towards Rob though, right? The only way that could be possible, Rob, Mike, or Denny. So maybe we don't do that. It's also true. So yeah, it's uh, also true. That's why you. Yeah. Maybe maybe we say uh, one of the dead players is poisoned, which is false because we're saying one character in effect of magic was true. So we say one of the dead characters was poisoned, which is false because they're both dead. I'm up for whatever you think uh, works. You got you got some info. Well, we can go to look at you what chat's saying too. Um, yeah, the uh, chat's agreeing that what I said was was dumb. So thanks, chat, for for <laughs> confirming. Um, like I, I do like the madness one. I do think there's exactly one yeah, character think, under the effects of madness. Yeah, I like this one. And then I guess we just say, uh, I guess we say yeah. one of the dead players was poisoned. I do like that one. It's not true, but it doesn't really solve much because it still gives four possible demons, right? One of the players is dead. One, one of the dead players is poisoned, which would only on the script only be the Nodashi, right? Uh, so it makes someone them... say uh, one evil player is dead is also interesting because. Yeah, but that would be point towards Bryant only, right? Yeah, it could be could be working. Because there's no way McKay would die as an evil on night two. For now, uh, we can do the we'll do the evil one tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put um, what do we we gave the true one false second last time, so I'll do it. We'll the say true, I like the madness for the true. Yeah, yeah. So one exactly one character is under the effects of madness currently. One player, sorry. And also, uh, I didn't send Becca the info yet, so I'm going to send Becca the, uh, the zero real quick. Um, or let's say uh, one dead player. One exactly player one dead player is say. poisoned. What, what, player so, is what sort of drunks? Is, like, there's the drunk, right? Is there any other drunkenness on this? Uh, philosopher. Yeah. We could say, well, I don't think they're going philosopher as a bluff, but we could say well, there's exactly one drunk player in town. Yeah, I like this one. All, all the drunk is still alive. Um, yeah. Okay, so a drunk player is still alive. Okay, let's do it. Let's go. All right, Becca gave the thumbs up. Let's do it. Jerome would be a dick. Oh, hi. Good morning, hi. town, but not for McKay, who died in Roger. the night. Uh, four more minutes. No, McKay's dead. So which one of my neighbors killed me? That's the question. You want me? That is the question. All right, Becca, you want chat? Yes. Uh, hey, Tiffy. I would like my information to savant, but also this... I want to show off. <laughs> what are you going to show off? You're French? Or your water bottle. Water bottle. Nice. So what do you think about the, the way the logo prints? Because it's like a not a flat surface, right? It's a square logo on a non-flat surface. Is it kind of skewed? Does it look good? I, I think it looks good. Uh, okay. I think it looks, yeah. I, I like, here, let me see if I can turn my cam my light off and see if it comes up better. Because it's got a shine to it. Uh-huh. But, like, it's it's really flat. Like, most of the time you think the label's, label's just going to be slapped on. But, no, it's the whole thing has a, I don't know if it's casing or if it's just, like, like glued on smoothly. But it's nice. And the Camelback quality is great. This is my new favorite water bottle because it's <laughs> Nice. I, I love Camelbacks, too. So, I'm, I haven't grabbed one of those yet, but I probably will. It's good. I only wish it was bigger. 
All right. So uh, your savant not- info is that. Oh, my God. <laughs> your savant info is either that the Grim water bottle is perfect and you should go out and buy it or it will burn your house down if you do. Or uh, go to uh, shop.thegrim.gg, our new, right? I, I just that? checked it and it's not working yet. So uh, he was working on it. By the time this video goes live on YouTube, maybe shop.thegrim.gg. Shop. Yeah. All right. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Yep. Which are your claims for you? Mm. Nothing like a little product placement, right? We do got some cool merch, like my my sweater. I think you can see the logo on the back. Oh, I didn't do a prediction, no, Mark. Just a goon, but um, is coming out. Oh, um, but he he apparently was, he is, he is com- coming out as Raven Keeper. Now, mind you, that well, that's also what Lucy he was te- was telling me at this point. Yeah, I think Lucy could be Nadashi. Uh, else, in which case, Beck, Beck is a mathematician with a zero, right? Correct. Uh, Correct. That uh, which it, uh, so awesome. she uh, she could be drunk, but uh, but she uh, but she could be dashy. But that uh, uh, but if that's uh, but if if I, if, if uh, Lucy is the dashy, then you know, what Brian, or whatever I had for Brian, it could be a complete complete nonsense. Yeah, I, I don't have another good candidate for a demon right now. So I mean, that's my candidate. For- well, well, uh, uh, well, I haven't talked to Tiffy yet, so that never was. Oh, so you're just trying to get it out of being executed? Yeah. To be fair, I wanted to keep you good. Unless you were evil, and then that sucks. Or unless I'm not the goon. Then don't claim shit that you're not and tell me that's what you are. Why not? <laughs> some, characters, some characters like to be targeted by evil and can't now. See ya. Uh, are you asking me a hard claim, or can yeah. I say the thing I've been telling everyone else? I'm dead. I know you're not the savant, so... Um. I actually... Oof, in a rough spot for you, I actually am the savant. That's interesting. I know. Uh, I think I know why. It's it's not the problem that you think it is, I'm pretty sure. Okay, gotcha. I think. Uh-huh. All right. Well, that's fun. I can neither confirm nor deny this information. I don't know. Tell them Fair enough. All right. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I did it. <laughs> Good job, <laughs> Amy. <laughs> Welcome back to town, everyone. I guess we have Philo jugglers, don't we? We also yeah. we also have people uh, who are savants or a bluffing savant. So, <laughs> hey Lucy, I really want them to think I'm a mutant for absolutely no reason. Uh, <laughs> although I'm pretty sure there's an actual mutant that's claiming savant, but that's besides the point. You have um, savants. Yeah, you can have lots of savants. Uh, all right. All right. You ready for your info? Yes. Exactly one player is under the effect of madness currently. Okay. Or a drunk player is still alive. Ooh. Interesting. How many forms of drunkenness are there? Okay, drunk counts as that. Um, interesting. All right. Thank you. Okay. All right, bye. Hey. Bye. Hey, it's Rob. All right. We're hey, back. Hey. Philo Jowl looks up Philo Juggles. Tiffy? Uh, I will Philo Juggle that uh, Philosopher and Juggler are demon bluffs. Philo Juggle heard? But that's not a juggle. That's a, that's a gossip. gossip. That's, a gossip. that's fine. <laughs> yeah. I like the, like the spirit. Yep. Wait. You can't, you can't gossip a juggle. I just accepted it. I'd like to juggle that you can. Maybe I'm sat next to the Dadashi and I can be poisoned, okay? 
Bambi. This is not an atheist game. Damn it. I'm blue. I'm blue. I'm blue. Just just see blue. All right, That's nominations are open. Week, no objection. <laughs> so are nominations open? Yeah, nominations are open. Okay. He's so excited for nominations. <laughs> he cannot nominate. Yeah. What are, uh, okay. So besides Bryant, uh, what are our outside account look like? I've heard of one more. Mm-mm. I heard that Bryant was claiming outsider, but not really claiming outsider. Is that true? He was he was claiming outsider. I don't know if that, that doesn't mean it's I mean it's Bryant, but he was claiming outsider. Correct. He has Brian, since told me he's him? not claiming outsider. I told you he's not claiming outsider. Interesting. <laughs> I told a couple people I wasn't. Interesting. Mm, all right. Oh yeah. I, I, need to I, I heard of one outsider, not including Brian. Same. I have one outsider and twos. But it's a two. Well, it's a two outsider game, outer game with, and without any a uh, manipulation. So. Which means, well, we probably have a father. which means there's oh, there's a high probability of a drunk, yes. Mm, yeah, I think I second, know who it is. Second call for nominations. I mean, a drunk is good to put in because it hides the Nodashi a little bit, right? Exactly. Yeah. So, Becca, can I come out with your information a little bit? Or no? Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay. So, there's some information from a... Uh, you're just going to have to you say don't it. mind? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Sorry. I was trying to figure out a way to say it without saying it, but yeah. So um, Becca is the mathematician, supposedly, who got a zero. And that's a little odd in a Nodashi game. So I, it, Brian's already dead. So I wonder whether that points in the direction of Lucy. I don't know if Lucy wants to comment before we do nominations. Um, I mean, you're correct. That would point at me. I don't. There are a number of other ways that could be happening, but because sure, I for sure. Also, that's not what Becca told me yesterday. Also, there's a Scarlet Ooh, Woman. Interesting. I told. Don't forget. Yeah, that. I told you my number from the first night yesterday. My zero was from last night. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it's but not that uncommon if they're next to a first night roll. Mm. Final call for nominations. Yeah, it's true. Michael nominate Becca. Mike nominates Becca. Elaborate. Um, there is, I think, I think, best case, Becca might be the drunk. Uh, worst case, they're the Nodashi. They pushed on Bryant. Uh, I think knowing full well Bryant was. Uh, so. I think uh, this is. A- Ah. Becca? I thought Bryant was the goon when I pushed on him. I was trying to not have evil be able to lock him in as evil so that they had an extra vote. Um, so I was just trying to lock him in as good. Um, I don't think this makes total sense to do. Um, I can see your argument for me being no dashi. If you really think that that's what's happening, that's fine. Um, but even if I am the drunk, you're just killing off a good player. All right. Four votes needed. So your argument that Becca is the Nodashi is that they killed their neighbor? Is it down south? Um, I was under the impression that Becca knew uh, what Bryant really was when they got... Four is there. enough. Uh, Becca's on the block. I, Becca I heard Clem Goon yesterday. Were giving fo- like, why would, why would you bluff this so badly? That's like, <laughs> yeah, I would give information that makes sense. All you have to, yeah, all you have to say is two. This is, I think this is a bad kill, and we should vote on people right. who voted on this instead. Yeah, Brian, I also what were you at the goon. I mean, my, my biggest demon candidate right now is Lucy, just because of Becca's information, which Becca's information may, may be a little bit sus, in which case <clears> maybe that's not the worst kill in the world for Becca to die since she's getting inconsistent information. But um, I, I think mean, I'll nominate Lucy as an alternative for the town instead of Becca. So Rob nominates Lucy. Rob nominates Lucy. You want to add more? No, I mean I said the reason earlier, so it's fine. Lucy, I mean, Lucy's just Sarah mad, so maybe. Um, Lucy, your defense. 
I want either Becker to be dead with the info that I'm working with at this I think. Listen, it's not okay that for or me I to want push my you, but you're, it's okay for you to push on me? Mm. Uh, that was up until recently. <laughs> mm. uh, and also, for what it's worth, I don't think you're the one I want to push on. That's why I would prefer... It's more like a if-I-have-to kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Threat. All right, four will tie, five to put Lucy on the block. That's why I was happier voting on... on oh, okay, never mind. That's why I was happier voting on Becca than you, but... Are we going to tie this? Nope. Five yes. is enough. Lucy's oh, on the block. I can't count. Can't count. I hate time. It's okay. Computers counting, they're not important with you. They don't okay, really so I'm going to be up front. I really like this role. I'm going to look evil if I nominate, but I really want I want to keep this role. But I don't know. I, I guess saying that, then evil's just going to kill me and punish me for my transgressions. <laughs> but I really want to keep having this role. Um, so any, any, anyone else? He could actually all work. kill. I can't remember if you like the savant role or not. This is final call. The meta. But so subtle. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, he really is. I mean, Lucy, you can lift onto me if you really want to. Uh, Lucy nominates Mike, I guess. Lucy Before. nominates Mike. Tell us why. Uh, Demon minion lift. Let's do it, Mike. <laughs> Mike, defense. Uh, this is certified minion panic. <laughs> Five will tie, six yeah, to execute. Yeah. We're convincing them so hard. This is working really well for us. This is the like oh, certified to... bit panic is what this is. I was just trying to give Lucy an out. Sorry. I just want to be a part of the bit. <laughs> All right, three is not enough. I'm going to bring this game to a close in three, Pull out my two. Okay. Are you keeping your information, uh, your one. Goal private for now? No, Lucy... Not. Is executed oh, and dies. Go. go to sleep. <laughs> All out info tomorrow morning. Why are you <laughs> Take out that savant, right? I, I a couple uh, months ago, I made a slip up where apparently I said I'm going to bring this game to a close instead of day when they had the demon on the block. So I specifically said I'm going to bring this game to a close just so they think they had it. So ha, never second guess me, players. <laughs> So yeah, this is really bad for town. They were they're losing all their they've lost all their information. Yeah. <laughs> the Roman keeper, the Shovelman, and the Savant. And Mike looks good, right? I'm just you know, he he's he's doing a great job of like sliding into the radar. And um I mean evil's pr they they you know, they could still narrow it down with Lucy's information, but I don't know. They're in a good spot. So let's see where Rob wants to go. Um the only information is Becca who will forever get a zero unless the nodashi kills the goon right and then she'll get a one i guess yeah but it would just be poison so we will not kill the goon yeah there's like we can never kill the goon at this point right oh well no. becca's becca's getting the axe so that's the last <laughs> that's the last oh. person we had to wake up at all Okay. I, 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 thought, I thought they would frame Becca as the, as the demon. Okay. Yeah, you would think so, right? Like, Becca, yeah. uh, what's a good frame? I wonder where they go now. Yeah, I think I would not kill Becca because she was very luxusy as a demon. I do agree with that. Jonah in chat is saying, like, whatever we do, we should not execute Tiffy for madness. And I think that's, that is 100% true. We need Tiffy to not be proven. Yeah, I agree. All right. Um, what are we at? We're at we're down to five players now. Let's wake them yeah. up. It's gonna be fast from here on out, I think. Yeah. Not happening too. No. Good morning, players, but not Becca who died in the night. Uh, really. Three minutes. Uh, okay. So, I actually was the savant. Um, I wanted people to think I'm the mutant for for no reason, but uh. <laughs> So day one's information was Nodashi only poisoning one neighbor. Uh, for some reason, when I first heard this, I thought they were implying that there was it was a soldier blocking it. But then I saw there is no soldier on here. So I guess that just means it's jumping over a minion or outsider. Uh, the other part of that information is, or both my neighbors got correct info last night. 
um, which is interesting. Uh, day two, I, I got exactly one player is under the effect of madness or a drunk player is still alive. That is why I wanted to either kill uh, Becca or Tiffy, by the way, because I think Tiffy may or may not be mad. No. Nah. It's just sweet savant. Just sweet less savant. Hmm. Tiffy, can we chat? We haven't chatted yet. Yeah, that's fine. So yeah, Era and Era, um, right, the demon, with five players alive, if the demon is executed today, it will bounce to the Scarlet Woman. So this is the last day where the Scarlet Woman could technically become the demon. So Rob could offer himself up for execution, theoretically, and be safe. Well, not safe, but the game wouldn't end. That, that savants are pretty impressive, but uh, but they don't don't, don't get marionettes. Uh, wrong <laughs> is my is my take on all that. I'm sorry. So Tiffy, sorry, Tiffy's messing with you. Then Tiffy, Tiffy said she's uh, that she thinks I'm the librarian who saw her, which is which is not a which is not correct. Okay. So and, and then she claimed you're still not my marionette. Read into that what you will. <laughs> uh, I I. I think that's Tiffy just messing with you. Um, yeah, I, I, I think so. So Sam, to cover uh, to cover madness. So madness means that you have to convince the town that something of something, right? So Tiffy's the mutant. The mutant specifically says if you are mad about being an outsider, you might be executed. So if Tiffy ever hints that she's any of the outsiders, then we have the ability to execute her, which would end the day and immediately go to night. Um, so she has to kind of not let people know that she's a mutant or any outsider on the script. Um, there are other forms of madness, like the Sarah Novas can make someone mad that they're a specific character and then they have to go around pretending that they're that character when they're not. So it can make it hard to share your true information if you're mad about being a different character. Um, but in this case, if we ever execute Tiffy for being mad, it just proves she is the mutant which is not good for evil. So we can't really ever pull the trigger on that at this point. We just have to make it look like she's evil pretending to be. Yeah. That's I guess they're all dead people or whatever. Oh, shoot. Shit. This, uh, I spent this, all day in chat with Rob and forgot to get my fake Savant information. Yeah, you come, <laughs> you come and get that Savant information like every other day, it seems. Uh, no, I got it from Bambi on Bambi day the one. first day. I got it. Telling everybody that, uh, I got it all in French, and that's why it took me a while to translate. All right. And for piece of information number one, buying the Grim merchandise will make you very happy. Or number two, buying the Grim merch will steal all the money from your bank account. <gasps> one of those is true, and one of those is false. Merci. Almost, I have hard claims from everyone but Donald at this point. All right, noms are open. Okay. <laughs> I have a hard claim from Donald. I don't know that I believe half of them. So, was your claim to me true, Donald? Um. Yeah. Well, it was. It was true as far as I know. Yes. Okay. There's. Oh, now I, I have a heavy duty suspicion that there was a tentacle wrapped around my uh, on my neck, but that's another issue. Okay. Nope, mm. not going there. Not going there at all. I think I we should kill one of my newborn. neighbors. I my think we should kill one of my neighbors because, according what? to my information, one of them woke, and they are both telling me they are roles that did not wake. Well, let's get hmm. this party started again. Oh, that explains. Danny boy nominates know. Tiffy. Danny boy nominates Tiffy. Elaborate. I request the removal of your life from this town upon thy information from McKay. <laughs> well said. Is this medieval times? Tiffy? I heard of an oracle that got a one last night um, on Lucy. I think that the minion and demon might have gotten the uh, the demon bluff. Like They might have been fighting over the same demon bluff. It was just hilarious. Um... How many are we at right now? And I think. <laughs> Does it have to do with you? Yeah. Right now? Thank uh, no, 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 no. This is it's pertinent information because I did not wake up. I am actually the mutant. <laughs> what? Three votes uh, needed. 
What was the bluff they were fighting over? Please. I think they're fighting over Savant. I've heard of an oracle that got a one last night. Let's get some votes. What do you guys say? Oh, what yeah, the heck? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, Paul, it's okay. Think, don't, don't need it. Three is Savant? enough. Tiffy's on the block. All I know yeah, is good, good. Hard, hard double claim with somebody else. That's all I know. Right. With mute? There's another Savant out there that isn't Tiffy. A mutant still doesn't wait. Yes, there is another Savant, and I'm about to nominate him. Tiffy nominates Denny. No. If he no. nominates Denny. No, no, no. <laughs> Tell us why. Yes. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, mon frere. Um, <laughs> oh, God. No, mon I frere? did not wake up on night one. I trust this chamber made information. You are claiming a role that did not wake up. And there's like, there's only a so number, few number of roles that would have woken up. Um, one of. One of the roles that Denny claimed to me would wake up night one. I had not that one. Okay. I have the other one. What he just claimed to me does so, not. Let's put I, I, it on doesn't this. matter. I can tell town. I, I'm this game's recluse. Uh, and so we, it's your evil. You're so not evil. So as, as the oracle has a one, right? Either Lucy is oh, evil shit. or Denny is Dodashi. Uh, or it could be Nodashi or Godfather. I am going to run this. It'll take three to tie and four to execute. Can we do me a favor? Can we put four on either Rob or Donald and see if I'm executed instead? <laughs> I actually, I like this we world. We don't have enough people to get four. Yeah, we do. Living? Uh, two's not people? enough. Tiffy is still on the block. You only have three living people that aren't Rob or Donald. Final call for nominations? Have them nominate on each other. Mike nominate Donald. Yeah. Mike nominates Donald. Mm. Tell us why. Appeasing Tiffy. <laughs> Donald. But why do we appease Tiffy? Tiffy. Tiffy's oh, hard. I have, hard a, hard I have a one-word response. I, excuse me. No, That's listen. A That's a We're a on put stream, on Donald. Him. If I don't die on set, you can absolutely kill me tomorrow. But I am. I am whatever. 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 All right. <laughs> Three will tie. Four to execute. We can put four on this, and they'll execute me instead. So, Donald, again, who's your minion in this world? <laughs> Tiffy's the demon. That One's also, not enough. Rob. I, I think bringing this data close. My in three, two. Donald, I'm going to out your info if you don't. If one. You, what you told me. You don't. Also, go ahead. Tiffy is executed and dies. And the game. Go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I thought we Don't had it that time. Me. All oh, right. We need a thing. <laughs> yeah, you was doing great. Now, I, I don't know if they want to target the goon or not tonight. Yeah, I, I feel saw like... Denny say he say he was the goon. He says Did he? he said... Did he tell someone that? He said to Rob. <laughs> to Rob, okay. I'm not the if I'm not the Mario, I'm the goon, please select me in the night. Yeah. So it's funny because like I don't know, like should evil turn him? I mean if if they turn him, it's pretty obvious what happened, right? Uh but How they should do the last fun for the in the final three. <laughs> I yeah, don't know. I mean Denny is the most suspicious too though. Yeah. Well, let's uh, let's see who Rob kills. I think he's going to kill Donald. I mean, yeah, if they target the goon, it's three evils to one good. It's pretty much over at that point. But then, I you know, in a way, it just drags the game out necessarily. Uh, he picks Donald. He's he's he says he's risking it. Donald, it is. He's not going to turn the goon. Wow. Uh, also, um, who was it? Someone. Someone in chat says, say hi to the the bouncing potato for me. Who was that? Who is it? Who was that? I got to scroll back up. Ravonic. Ravonic. Steve, please say hi to the wiggling potato for me. So Ravonic says hi, Bambi. Hello. Yep. Bonjour. Uh, that's it. There's literally nothing, no one else to wake, nothing else to do. We go, we wake up with two evils and a goon who never turned. Yeah, sad. If, if, if they don't execute... They can target the goon tonight, and then they win with all evils alive, right? Yeah. Perfect. That's perfect ending. Saying. Yeah, so we'll see if Denny goes for the jugular or just passively plays. All right. Excited to see. Minus one instead. I still don't know what you are. I still have John's goon. Good morning, everyone. Donald Bane has died in the night. We are on our final three. 
Call it. I hate this sense. final three so much. I think it's Rob. Why do you why do you hate this final three so much, McKay? Well, first of all, I have hard claims from all three of them, and I don't like any of them. What? I'm put, I'm putting a four minute timer. The game ends in four minutes. I don't have hard claims from most people. What I don't have. Does Tiffany, anybody want to chat? Tiffany, Round Robin. Starting yep. Dashi and Rob was the starting Scarlet Woman. Time, but I'm um, uh, Steve. Uh, have a call for a round robin. I literally didn't. You guys are free to do a round robin, but I'm not going to stop the game and, and do it. Yeah. Shoot. Okay. I I literally didn't talk to him until the first time until yesterday, um, and that was when we brought you into the chat. At or I had told Rob, hey, I really trust McKay, and you had pinged and asked to come in. Yeah. And I've been pushing on Rob right now. I don't think Rob's good, but. Uh, I'm the recluse. <laughs> you, wait. You said you're the mutant. What? No. Oh, no, I'm not the, I, the I'm the fuck? mutant. Sorry. Ah, I'm, an, ah, I'm an outsider. Ah, I was really ah, excited. That's ah, right. What is going on, Tiffy? Don will go. That does not look good for Tiffy. Yeah. Oh, Stuart. Oh, Stuart saw Brian is good. Lucy. Uh... Savant, uh, day one, no dashi, only poisoning one neighbor, assumedly meaning it's jumping over someone. Uh, or both my neighbors got correct info last night. That would have been the first night. Um, then day two, exactly one neighbor is under the effect of madness or a drunk player still lives at, at that time. And then I was brutal. Um, I am your mathematician. I got a one on night one and a zero on night two. Uh, Ravenkeeper tried to get targeted by evil the first night, uh, but the steward that sold me as good placed the fifth vote on me. Uh, juggler mm -hmm. juggled myself as the juggler. Brian's a Serenovus. Becca's the mathematician. Lucy is a savant. Donald's a recluse. I got a one. Pretty sure I'm the drunk. I think there's a better chance that you were being no Dashi poisoned than I was the drunk. Yeah, I think Rob. Rob? Um, sorry, I was just thinking about what Mike was saying. So, uh, Rob is the Oracle. And night two, Brian and McKay were the deaths. Um, so that was a zero. Night three, it was uh, Lucy and Becca. I got a one, and I got a one the following night. Uh, I am this game's recluse. Oh, you're sure the real you recluse. It's me. Surprise. Yeah, you could be the mutant, maybe, since Tiffy is claiming recluse. No. Uh, I would not be claiming recluse. Sounds like he's still recluse. playing for evil. <laughs> that's true, that's true, that's Just true. Just at this time, maybe not. Maybe not a good idea. Okay. How does McKay's information make sense? Hang on. Oh, right, I never I never shared. I, I'm a okay. chambermaid with a one between my neighbors. Um, McKay's information one makes sense is a mutant if and Rob is yeah. the Nodashi who poisoned yeah. Mike. Mike and, and McKay. Then... That's true, that's possible. Tiffy, what's what's possible? You are the Nadashi who poisoned me through a um, an outsider because you poison your townsfolks, which also goes with the savant info. Uh, it kind of oh. doesn't, but I think Lucy could just be the minion that Rob is giving true information about being evil. Correct. I don't want to get well, more past here. Info. Thirty seconds to tell the game ends. It'd be funny if uh, Donald was actually the drunk. Could someone Brian. nominate Rob in the next Rob, 23 seconds? Yeah. Rob nominates um, Mike. Rob nominates Mike. Tell us why. Well, um, pretty sure Mike is on the evil team, but I'm not sure. Mike? Because we have to, because Denny is in the the outsider count is correct with if Denny's recluse. Correct. Uh, I don't like this. Uh, I'm the juggler. Gave my information out as soon as I had it. Um, I'm probably going to have to nominate Denny after this. I, I just feel like Rob's pulling it off. Denny's don't do that. Please nominate Rob. Okay, well, All I right. think this is Ethan. Two votes needed. My biggest question for myself it's right now is, am I ignoring me. the Denny factor? <laughs> I, think, I think it's the Denny Analyst. factor. Two is enough. Analyst, yes. Mike's on the block. 
13 yeah, seconds. I think it's I Rob. I think it's Rob. I kind of do too, but I also... Nominate Rob. Yeah, Mike someone nominate Rob, please. Okay. Mike nominates Denny. Tell us why. I'll Rob nominate Rob afterwards. I think... I... It feels to me Denny is the Nodashi and Rob is just playing it up to pull off of him. I think it's Denny. Denny? Why, why do you think it, though? Uh, I'm just this game's recluse. That's I don't have any information. Um, I'm not sure. I would have rather have gone for Mike, but I'll go for Rob afterwards if we, if we want to. All right. Two will tie. Three to put Denny on the block. I always forget that evil with the countdown from evil, Steve. I, I'm never prepared for it. <laughs> it's like, like the past, last 30 seconds. One is not enough. Denny is safe from execution. Denny, you going to nominate Rob? Do I have to? Is that it? Your last chance, Denny, you nominating? Denny nominates nobody. Son of a motherless goat. All right. <laughs> Mike is executed and dies. Oh, no, Mike. I, we got the demon, guys. We got him. Shut up, Denny. Congratulations. Oh, Daddy. Oh, Daddy. Goes to I better be I better have won. The evil team. <laughs> if, I, if, I, if I lose this, I'm gonna be so bad. <laughs> well, Mike I mean where do we start on this Bambi? I, I'm I'm kinda curious. I, I guess we can go to the mathematician number that everyone was really struggling to understand, right? So Becca, your mathematician learned a one. The first night, meaning one person got incorrect information. Was that was McKay, yes. your chambermaid, who was also no dashy poisoned, Woo! but picked what? Tiffy the mutant and Denny Boy the goon, oh. which drunk, which drunk <laughs> McKay, wow. and that was the only false information that went out that night. Denny, I'm glad you lost. <laughs> Donald Bain, the steward, saw Bryant, the Raven Keeper, as the good player, and then promptly executed him the next day for the, his troubles, which was uh, pretty funny. Uh, Lucy, your savant, who got uh, correct, sober, and healthy information and was a very valuable source of information. So day one, it was the Nodashi is poisoning exactly one neighbor, which was false. Or... Both your neighbors got correct information last night. That was true. Donald and Becca got true information. The next night, it was exactly one player is under the effects of madness currently, which was Tiffy. And the other one was a drunk player is still alive. Uh, there was no one drunk at the time, neither from any of the possible drunkenness. So it was just the one player under the effects of madness. So that leaves Mike, your Scarlet Woman, and Rob, your Nodashi. Motherf <laughs> Rob, why didn't you kill me so I could join the evil team? I think. Oh, poor Danny. <laughs> Because you wouldn't have died. I mean, if I know, if, I if nobody evil. nominated that day, then the goon turns evil and then wins, right? Like, it would have yeah. been over. But then when you guys started nominating, it was really making me scared for evil because oh, it was just yeah, it was we, close ending. We were running no, Danny, I, I told <laughs> okay, Danny that it, he was my It now makes that. sense why Mike didn't oh, why you, Mike it's... nominated Denny, at least. Yeah, and I, I, and I told De Denny he was my marionette on day one. So Denny was playing for evil the whole time. Oh, oh, yeah. Rob messages me mid day. He's like, by the way, I'm giving Denny the bluffs. So get ready to back up into something else. I should have known. I should have known. Rob was, oh, Rob was playing. Oh, uh, uh, was doing the, mm, 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 I don't, I really don't know oh, 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 in these situations. And that's usually his biggest tell that oh, he's evil. I wasn't saying that. It's yes, you almost were. like I called it. The, uh, so, Denny, you I were under the impression chat. you were the marionette? Yeah. I, I gave Rob a chance <laughs> to turn evil, and he didn't take it. So I'm like, well, I guess I'm the marionette. That's funny. The marionette wouldn't see a, an outsider, would they? They could. Well, play. Yeah. They could. yeah, just a neighbor. Uh, Rob and I did talk about that a little bit. But... I was just so, a good character. I yeah. had, oh, I had oh, um, as we went to final three, I had, had Mike, uh, Mike as, a Mary, uh, as an unwitting marionette, but you, you know how that goes. <laughs> So this, this was a lot of fun. Thank you, Bambi, for coming on and running. Yeah, and 
uh, hopefully we can get you back on stream some other time in the future yeah. if it's not too late for you. That's fine. We got a beautiful Final Three with the good nice job, Mike. <laughs> yes, we did. All right, uh, there's like the power of the marionette right show showcase right here with the Robin Denny. So we're gonna take a quick break and we're gonna um, set up the game two, which is um, what do we say it was? Haruto Therapy by Flying Ludicolo. So we'll get Ludicolo in here and uh, set it up. Uh, don't go anywhere. Sit tight. Hello. Good night. Good night, Bambi. I am leaving. See ya. Well played.
All right, chat, welcome back. We're setting up for game two. Uh, joining us is going to be, uh, and I always forget how to pronounce this, Flying Ludicolo. Is that right? That's the Pokemon, right? Correct. Hello, everybody. And they're going to be sitting here and hey. taking the co-STC along with me. And this script is called Haruto Therapy featuring a leech. So why don't you tell us a little bit about, you know, what, what made you come up with this script, Ludicolo? Um, so at least for the title, uh, Haruto is a genus of leech, uh, typically used in medicinal treatments. Um, the leech, while not being a base three demon, is has some really fun interactions and just different mechanics to play off of. Um, and as a little note, um, because I only found out about the contest on the last day, um, I had the opportunity to scroll through and see what other demons people were picking for their uh, scripts. And I saw not many leeches. So that was that was well, your smart, decision. Smart not to, yeah, smart not to replicate. Stand out from the crowd, yeah. Exactly. Yep. And Leech is really fun, both with the surviving executions aspect of it and the poison that the good team has to track down. So we are going to, uh, yeah, we're going to get this set up. Uh, one of the interesting things I saw that you made with the script is like, there's not a lot of poisoning other than the actual like Leech, essentially. So really, it comes down to, can you figure out where the poison information is? Well, there's Puzzle Master, there's Sweetheart, there's Philosophers. There's actually quite a bit. From the outsiders, there's, yeah. There's a lot of drunkenness, but the evil team doesn't have much control of the poisoning. There's I, I went into the misregistration of Spy and Recluse to try and get more of that confusion. There you go. Fair enough. All right, so we're going to go get this game set up. Give us a minute, and uh, we'll be back. Sounds good. All right, so we have nine players again, so that leaves us one minion. So if you were able to put one minion on here that best represents what you would like to see in play, what do you think that would be? Because obviously we have to go with the leech. There's no choice on this script. <laughs> of course. Um, the safe bet, the one that I would lean towards is the spy, just to get some more of that misregistration, more of that confusion. Okay. But I'm I'm kind of thinking we skip on the Baron. If either you or or Chat have a have a strong preference for Pit Hag or Evil Twin, I'd be up for that. Evil Twin is interesting, right? Because then you really, I mean, there's a lot of pressure on town to perform because not only you got to deal with the leech, find the host, you also got to deal with that Evil Twin pair, um, which is intriguing. I almost. Yeah, I mean, it feels it feels interesting to me, but I also am fine with spy if if that's what you feel is like the poster child. I I'm up for whatever. Uh, I did a few tests of just like t uh, making fake grims just to mm -hmm. see, and I think it's pretty solid. Whichever minion we go with. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll run with spy. I think spy is pretty good and. Um, some people are saying, like Nat is saying, Snake Charmer Spy is always fun because it kind of creates this mini game where uh, the spy might not want to tell the demon who the Snake Charmer really is, right? So you can even like sell out your own demon or something like that, which is makes for some interesting plays. Um, I, if we had two minions, I would definitely put an evil twin in, but we'll just go with Spy. That's um, good. I do then, like the idea of putting in a Snake Charmer. <laughs> yes, I mean we're gonna do a Snake Charmer. It's too fun. St. Trevor Spy. Um, what are we thinking about Outsiders then? I see uh, somebody's requesting a Puzzle Master in chat, which uh, it's actually interesting too, right? On a Leech script, you learn who the demon is, which isn't really necessarily that helpful. Like, yes, it means don't execute them, I guess, but it's it's pretty wild. So what do you think? Uh, saint? You know, if a saint gets Leech hosted, it's really hilarious. Uh, I'm up for that. 
Uh, Puzzle Master was really more of a choice because I thought putting a drunk is way too mean on a leech script, trying to yeah. find where that is. Puzzle Master is a little bit nicer. Okay. Uh, Klutz is always... Let's do Puzzle Master Saint. Let's do it. Sounds good to me. And then, um, let's put, what can we, what can we put in that'll help misregister the spy, right? Like the librarian, we could show the spy as a, as like, um, an outsider. What else? Uh, librarian, dreamer, seamstress, um, undertaker. Yeah, those are all All solid. Technically town crier, but that's that's mean. Do you know off the top of your head for leech soldier? Does it mean that the leech cannot leech host the soldier? Um, so the leech would pick the soldier and the soldier doesn't get poisoned. So it still can't die at night. But the soldier is the host is the host. Got it. Town would have to kill the soldier. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. That's pretty. That's pretty straightforward for sure. A town crier, give them only zeros to make them think that they're the host. That's a fun one. Oh yeah, that is fun. We'll put a town crier in. It's kind of mean. I, so now we've been mean to town, we, right? We need to put three if we powerful. Do that, yeah, if you do that and just be mean to the town crier the whole time, I don't want anything else that like misregisters to the spy. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. Badly. Well, the dreamer feels really powerful, but maybe. Hmm. We just did a savant one. Maybe. Oh, uh, exorcist. Uh, I have a fun note for this. Um, originally, I was going through the interactions since Leech is still an experimental character. Mm-hmm. And Exorcist is fun because it stops the kill at night, but it doesn't stop the poison. Oh, because it says, well, the Exorcist. You mean it doesn't stop like the Leech host poisoning? Correct. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. For sure. Yeah, I think this is, the, and the, you know, we're, we're building this grim. There is a freaking spy snake charmer combo that could just form their own evil team. So uh, we have no idea what's going to happen in this game. So no, I'm, I'm excited yeah. for that. And a spy with a leech is awesome because then the spy can tell them who the best leech host is. <laughs> uh, they don't get an opportunity to talk about it. The leech picks on the first night. The spy if- just gets to tell... The spy oh, goes the to the snake, snake charmer. charmer and says, oh. take it, and then leech host this person, and they they kind of go rogue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is possible. I've, I, I, we've, we've seen it happen before. I think this is cool. I think we pass this out. Oh, we do have... with a, I want to say, like, maybe maybe there's no one worth drunking with this. Like, if we do the Puzzle Master, one of them's going to be drunk, so maybe we don't do Puzzle Master. Um, I feel bad. I almost feel bad. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I puzzle master does feel a little mean. Um, yeah, I don't really want to. We could do sweetheart. Any of the townsfolk. Dead. <laughs> Klutz. Klutz might be Let's... a re-rack city. <laughs> exactly. Um, I'm fine with either recluse or sweetheart. They're both good options. Let's do sweetheart. Why would we do sweetheart instead, Tiffy? Because if you look, Tiffy. We, there's only five townsfolk and we're going to just drunk one of them out. Right. And even if they guess who the drunk one is, all they learn is the player they're not supposed to kill. It just, to me, it feels bad. There's five, there's five roles. Theoretically, one's going to be the leech host and then the other one's going to be drunk. Hmm. I think puzzle master works in larger games, more than one minion. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I don't mind puzzle masters, but I, we are going to go with sweetheart this one. Okay. Let's pass it out. All right, Jerome's leech. Becca becomes our spy, and let's keep an eye. Eric as a snake charmer. Ooh, all right. We got to keep an eye on how the spy and the snake charmer, if they decide to do their own thing, uh, setup wise. There's nothing. We got to go. Uh, no, there's really uh, nothing. No setup. We got to pick some bluffs. We do got to pick bluffs. Um, yeah. So, um, 
do we give one of them to either be monk or soldier just to give cover to that exorcist let's go i'm thinking monk let's go monk i do think we do want some way to cover that um and then there is a spy dreamer could be solid or and we could go pacifist that way when the leech gets executed it's because of the pacifist uh, no you I, don't I'm like that kind of, i'm kind of fine with leaving pacifist just off the table sure. Pacifist was the last character i added and i'm still not 100 percent sure on it so outsiders if we if we give them an outsider bluff it doesn't really work i mean it kind of um, does but yeah we could give dreamer or undertaker to the spy kind of yeah let's do undertaker and uh, well let, even, we can no, we can do that keeper doesn't really work. let's just give savant they get, people love to bless yeah, savant. that works and plus with the spy they can choose anything they want they're gonna see the whole groom all right perfect all right let's uh let's send him to sleep All right, players, you should have your rolls. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the leeches bite. All right. So first things first, we're going to wake Lucy and ask if she would like to use her ability. There's nothing like a magician or a poppy girl that could affect um, setup information, at least. But... Still good practice to do. Exactly. There's so many times I find myself forgetting to go to the philosopher first, so I'll I'll do it anyways. Then you go back at the end of the night after it's too late. Do we think that Lucy oh uh before I forget, let's do a prediction. Um which team will win? Good wins or evil wins? Two minutes. Get your predictions in. Okay. Let's see. What do we think, Lucy? I think Lucy may pull the trigger night one dreamer what do you expect that is true lucy does love the dreamer all right uh the dreamer is not in play nor bluff so that actually works out pretty well oops yep is the philosopher dreamer sweet all right minion info this is the demon jerome wake these are your minions. These characters are not in play. Monk, Undertaker, Savant, send. Kind of signals he might have a spy, especially if we show like Undertaker. Um, and then make a choice. This is the most critical thing for a leech, and it comes with like zero bits of information. It's like, who do you poison? It can make or break you entirely. Make your minion the host? Yeah. That's the thing. On this script, it makes a lot of sense, too. All right. It would be very fun to give uh, Poison Spy information. Yes. Poison Grim. <laughs> oh, my God. We could oh, we could mess with Becca so much. Uh, Rob. All right. That Rob, the town team. crier. Perfect. So Rob will be our host. Keep an eye on that. Now, there is a chance with the Snake Charmer that this could change. In fact, it could change right now. Make a choice, Eric. And we'll go ahead and have Lucy make a choice as well. And then, as well, we can ask the Seamstress, but uh, Eric has made a choice. Yep chosen rob so nothing happens all right rob's not the demon confirmed <laughs> got the host not the leech lucy is going to dream bryant so bryant's the saint so i don't think we would ever want to show like a leech like saint leech obviously could be it but they would never execute bryant if we show that right so we pick up i think we pick a minion like pit hag I, yeah, I was leaning towards Pit Hag as well. 
I think that makes a lot of sense because it would make Bryant want to be executed. Like they want to get Pihag off the board if possible, right? Um, yeah. So Bryant will be dreamed as either the Saint or the Pihag. Oops. Oh, wait. Hold on. Um... No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> just, just keep spamming no, Bryant. Uh, Saint. Uh, right then. Saint. Now Bryant's going to have a. Uh, Bryant knows what's coming now. Saint or Pit Hag. How to confirm to Bryant that the Germans in play. We'll just tell him he's the leech host so we can mess with him. Uh, I, I said, I, don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, and then Coulson. Wake, use your ability. And Becca, we can now send. Well, we'll wait for Coulson. Uh, Coulson, yes. Make a choice. Coulson has used it. And at this point, I will send the groom over to Becca. So yeah, so I marked uh, I marked that Colson used it, so we're good to send it to Becca now. So he's dreaming Eric and Becca. So I think we register the spy as good and show yes. Uh, Eric and Becca. Uh, Eric is the snake charmer, so yeah. the leech could swap over to them at some point. Um, yeah, I I think I think yeah is good. Put them. Let's say they're on the same team. Yeah, I mean this this would be reusing the spy ability, right? Um we had talked about maybe using the town crier. But at this point but the, the town, town crier is poisoned. Is poisoned, so in on the one hand, yes, on the other hand, I feel bad bl burning the steamstress one use, but that's what the spy's for. Yeah. All right, so we are going to say uh Wait, they get if they're on the same team, right? You learn if they are the same element. Yes, they are. Just makes them think he's a leech host, too. <laughs> uh, Becca gave a thumbs up. All right. Besides my one little slip up, we're shaping up for a good game. And a non-zero chance that the snake charmer hits the, the leech. So we'll keep an eye really close between Becca and Eric and see if they come up with a plan. All right, let's wake him up. Token. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Unfortunately, that leech got its tentacles wrapped around both mine and Ludicolo's necks, so we are dead. Find the leech. Execute their host, not them, and uh, win the game. I, I just want to clarify something for chat. Leeches don't have tentacles, so... <laughs> Uh, uh, just sorry, uh, Steve. Just for um for chats and everyone's benefit, streams benefit. Uh, Bryant just came to me and went, "Are you the dreamer?" Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Um, are you a spy? Nope. Okay. Uh, you want a three, two, one? I'm the saint. I have reason to believe you, and I won't say why. Okay. Uh well then I guess you're that thing that I saw. Oh. Um <laughs> uh, I can't know right. why. Hey Jerome. Hello. Oh boy, I wasn't meant to be in this game. I made a mistake here. <laughs> <laughs> you muted. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you got the you got the responsibility here, Jerome. Well, I make no promises. Uh Rob say would be a bad choice therefore i picked rob really yeah. <laughs> that's funny that's pretty funny anyway uh i'm here for my uh, real totally rear survival information you're totally rear survival information yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna with uh, one of my at least one of my neighbors is an outsider or the snake charmer is not my name is not one of my neighbor uh, i mean that, that feels legit i will say that thing or that other thing is the truth yep fair enough thank you very much <laughs> you're welcome What? I'm fine. Okay. I'm the same. 
<laughs> Have fun with that. Well, here's the deal. You can kill me, but don't do it to final three, because I could be the leech host. I don't know, but I just wouldn't do it early. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Is this going to be another saint coasting to the win on a demon? Demon coasting to the win on a saint claim? I mean, it, if you've tried to execute other people and nobody's not died, you can believe that. But if, the, if I'm the demon, why would I bother to claim saint when I don't mind being executed? Fair enough. So, like, I could be the leech host, but you might as well wait your end at the end of the game. Where are you? Um, I'm the soldier. All right. <clears throat> cool. We'll see if you die in the night. Well, I guess you won't die in the night if you're the leech host. Okay. See ya. Yep. Figure out who's in, who's poisoned to figure out who mm -hmm. the leech host is. Yep. So I've been going to people in hard claiming. If you want yep. to do that, that's fine. If you don't, I mean... That's, that's what Rob just said to me, too. Yes, I, I, I propose this to Rob. <laughs> yeah. And so we've hard claimed each other. We decide, let's try this and see. I mean, who knows? Yep. I've never tried this. If you don't I'll want to, you, that's fine. I'll tell you what I, what I just told Rob. Uh, I'm the seamstress. I did use my ability. I picked Eric and Becca. I'm not going to say what I got yet because that won't help us until we know whether we think they're good or not. Okay. That's not a bad idea, Nat. Uh, would you want me to hard claim to you or not? Sure. I am the exorcist. All right. Exorcist. So maybe I'll pick Eric if you if you don't want to tell me that's fine, but maybe I'll pick Eric tonight and see. But if you tell me if they're on the same team, I shouldn't bother, but yeah. You don't want to... it's, it's it's up to you, I think. We don't yeah. It's it's even if even if he is good, it's it's just as good to pick him and see what happens because we need to figure out who's poisoned. So I think True. it's fine. Okay. All right. Uh, starting from the top, Exorcist, Leech, Dreamer, uh, Philo Dreamer, um, on the spy, Saint, Town Crier, Seamstress, Sweetheart, Snake Charmer. Exorcist. Oh, she sold out the Snake Charmer. I think I said Exorcist twice. She shouldn't have done that. Got it. Uh, I wish I didn't win. Thank you. <laughs> No. I hear a kitty cat. Yep. Close well, maybe the, or Mark's cat. Maybe the cat is the leech host. Oh, that's so sad. My cat. Let's nominate and find out. Nominations are open. Uh, I'll nominate Jerome. Mark nominates Jerome. Tell us why. I don't have a reason. I'm just if there's you know if just I haven't talked to Jerome today, and if you know there's various roles on here, you know I'm willing to. You know, just nom and don't have to necessarily vote on it, but I'd like to hear what Jerome has to say. Jerome? Uh, this is not a good idea. I'm an infantry control role. You shouldn't kill me. Okay. Five needed. Jerome, I don't know what you are, but like, I'm we thinking need who makes it to the end and want to execute him. Three is not enough. Jerome is safe. We need a cat-based demon. There's no cat demon, is there? No. Nope. I want that now. Uh, Steven Medway, can I get a cat demon, please? Cat would be a traveler. <laughs> <laughs> how, about, how about Moth Girl Minion? Cat, cat would be a traveler. Is that me? Say, please. You're implying I'm the Moth see? Girl Minion? Chat also that agrees that cat would be a traveler. Girl. Yeah. Um, yeah cat, cat would be a traveler, that's for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. They would lose interest very quickly and would leave the game. I'm going to nominate Rob. Right, nominate Rob. Tell us why. Because I think that people think he would die early, so he might be a good bluff to pick as the leech host because people might think that he won't. Is this like a leveling? Yeah. Like a level yep. on level? Yep. Yep. Rob? It's a double yeah, bluff. So I'm an ongoing information role that can help solve the game. Uh, you can kill me if you want. Doesn't matter to me. All right, five needed. This always makes me nervous, chat. Jerome, tempting fate. Four is not enough. Rob is safe from execution. I have heard it. I have heard of some spent rolls if they want to 
throw things in there or not. Uh, I, I don't mind if someone wants to nominate me. Becca nominates Colson. Becca nominates Colson. Tell us why. He said that we could. Yeah. I think you should put me on the block. Five well, needed. A spent roll. If we're lucky, okay, we but are you like, are you like a librarian that got correct information? Well, because no, then I, you're not the leech host, right? I'll if I was sure, it. if I'll I was sure confirming. it was not the leech host, I would say that six I mean, is enough. Unless you're confirming the to, to be to be fair, to be fair, I think even if I would give good information to the leech librarian if I was a teller, otherwise the game would end very quickly. Would you to a librarian like? You just, uh, I guess you'd have to throw in like a sweetheart or something that might lie. Final call for nominations. I Can I bring the this... outsider claims? Has anyone, has anyone heard any outsider claims? Yes. Going to bring yeah. this day to a close in three, two, one. Colson is executed and dies and. We wreck. Go to sleep. Ah. I was hoping someone would panic at the last minute. <laughs> Ooh. I was so sweating for a moment there. I'm they not surprised that Jerome voted for That's Rob. what I'm saying. Rob got nominated and I was like sweating a little bit and then Jerome put the hand up at the last second and I was really sweating it. But it's a smart, it's, it's a bold play, but it it probably works out in their favor later, right? So, if assuming people remember that he voted on Rob, uh, if, if people are tracking votes, uh, which Rob should be. Um, so, I do know Becca is claiming to be the soldier, bluffing soldier at this point. Um, I don't 100% know what Jerome was bluffing. Jerome but did come for Savant information. That's right. So, so we can assume Savant, right? Also interesting that Becca went and gave the entire correct grim to Jerome, including the snake charmer. Ooh, but, all right. but somebody in chat, I think it was Nat, pointed out that even if the snake charmer goes off, it doesn't matter because you don't execute the snake charmer. You have to execute the host. Right? So yeah. in that world, then it would uh, make sense that it doesn't matter if you out the snake charmer. So it's, it's, it's an interesting, interesting one. Speaking of the snake charmer, first up in the night. Let's do it. Make a choice, Eric. And, oh no, we can't really go to the exorcist just yet. Just in yeah. case Eric picks correctly. I mean, we could get the pick, but we just can't give him his, his like information yet. Right. Uh, Jonah. Okay. Okay, so no. Jonah is not the pick. All right. Mark the exorcist. Make a choice. Which is really interesting. Well, let's see. He's going to pick Jerome. All right. <laughs> That's quiet pretty interesting. Night. But Becca is, is bluffing soldier, so maybe that could explain it. But okay, so, so we're going to... Jerome learns that Mark is the exorcist? Yeah, so um, we're going to wake Jerome. We're going to say this player, Mark, is the exorcist. And that's it. We don't wake him up. I mean, that is waking him up, right? Yep. Uh, Yeah, not not for the chambermaid, but right. not on this grip. Not for the chambermaid. Um, <laughs> so we're going to have no kill tonight. Jonah did not die. Lucy gets to dream. Make a choice. Let's not mess up the dreamer tonight. Go to the person that dreamt and give them their own bless. So thing to think about in the meantime is Mark, uh, Becca, and Bryant nominated yesterday. Yes, that's a good point. Uh, Lucy's going to dream Jerome. Lucy's sober and healthy, so we have to give... Two Leecher things like savant. Yeah, we just give Leecher Savant. Uh Savant. Now, if we want to go really wild, oh we can't. Uh we could. We could give anything for the good side. Anything that something that doesn't make sense. But I don't think we do. Yeah. 
I think we just say Leech or Savant. I think we keep the bluff. Um. So Rob, yeah. So like you said, it was it was Mark, Brian, and Becca. We did have an e. We did have an evil person nominate, right? Let me just check have, really quick. We it's the, the spy specifically. The minion uh, that could register as not a minion if we want, right? And also, I'm he's thinking, the leech host. Yeah, I'm thinking because only three people nominated, maybe we go with the no. Yeah, um, especially with Colson having a Becca and Eric on the same team. So he'll think Becca's good. That would make him look at Bryant and Mark and Mark's. Yeah, yeah, we just say no. 100%, right? Yep. I say no. Mm. No, nobody not. So you wake up and learn, you learn if a minion nominated today. So we're going to wake and say no. We'll track who actually has nominated so that he can't automatically, we have to, we kind of have to pin someone as a minion, right? Otherwise he's yeah, going to know he's the leech host. I think so. Um, and despite the fact that, oh no, uh, Becca, the spy learns that nobody died. Yep. Um, yeah, we'll send that Grim over with the Exorcist chosen. Yeah, there it is, Mara. I, I that's that's the thing I was saying earlier is I'm really bad at, at always using the right reminder tokens. Uh, I'm working on it. So I did get the Exorcist token down just in time before I sent it to Becca because uh, that is something the spy should learn. So Becca coming out as a soldier. This was probably a planned move, right? To explain why there's no deaths, which doesn't automatically paint Jerome as a leech, but Mark's going to push for his exorcism anyway, I imagine. Sweet. That should be it. Let's go uh, wake him up. Break up, break the news. Good morning, everyone. There were no deaths in the night. Wow. Interesting. Four minutes. Interesting. Okay. Soldier chosen, maybe? That's possible. Jerome last night. I think we should try to execute Jerome. Oh. And if he's the leech, then we know. I mean, then we know if, if that's true or not. And since if he is the leech, he knows I'm the exorcist anyway. Yeah, but it doesn't really help us to execute Jerome. It helps. We need to execute whoever he chose, right? Um, well, it would know what I'm still trying to figure out, you know, why well, I haven't heard, we have to hear there's a soldier or a monk or whatever. Well, it would help us know whether out. you're poisoned, whether you're poisoned or not, right? It kind of, unless this demon sunk a kill, which I could have, like if you were the demon, you sunk a kill to make me think I'm, you're, you know, not your leech. Well, you could have targeted this, you could have targeted the soldier too. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't heard of a soldier yet. Have you? And if there's a pass, oh no, it doesn't work for pass, but it has execution. No, it's soldier, so, monk, a monk, or me. A monk, a monk or soldier or you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sorry, my Amazon Alexa device was going off for no reason. Oh, yeah. I, I must have said the word echo. I don't know. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. So uh, I seamstress picked you the first day. With who? Uh, the first the first night. You and Becca. And I got the I got a yes. Okay. Good. Yep. Yes, we're on the same team. That's right. That's good. Enough. I don't I don't necessarily want to spread that around because that means you'll probably be targeted by the demon, um, unless you want to be targeted by the demon. Um. Actually, I wouldn't be terribly upset being targeted by the demon. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. But uh, I'm, I'm going to go talk with Becca. Sounds good. All right. Bye. Hey. So um, we could Mark be in for a long game. Strategy. He said, hey, in order to find the leech host, if we all hard claim and share each other's information, we'll learn, we'll figure it out faster. I like that strategy. So I'm the town crier. Um, what are you? Um, yeah, I'm okay with that strategy. I'm the soldier. Okay. So since no one died last night, it's one of three possibilities, right? So either the monk protected someone, the demon targeted the soldier, or the exorcist chose the demon. Yep. The exorcist chose Jerome, by the way. Okay. And, um, and I'm the town crier who got a no on Becca, Bryant, and Mark. Got a no one back up, Brian and Mark. That's really good to know. Okay. All right. Bye. 
to her at some point. Okay, I'll let you go. I think we've, we're going to frame Jonah as the minion here. Hey. Hello. Uh, I'm a saint. I've also heard of a sweetheart, so there's two outsiders. Interesting. Okay. I am the exorcist who picked Jerome last night. Hey, Jerome. Ooh. Oh, savant info, yeah? Yeah, and I, I'm at the loss. I think I'm, I'm going to be out of the book quite quickly anyway. Uh, Probably. Between the, uh, the Pharaoh Dreamer and the Exorcist, it's rough. It's rough. So. Yeah, but half of the script is more not like not really. It doesn't mind matter so much. Everyone knows there's a leech, so it's interesting spot to be in. Yeah, we, but I wanted to be like at the end, be like, I'm my ability shows and that option is gone now. All right. Um, yeah, so what do you got for your info today? Something or something else? I don't know. I have to, I have to think about it more. But thank you for the time. Good of time. course. Sure. Thank you. All right, chat. Everyone that's followed or in the recent FM, Jason, thanks for the follow. Richard, RK Richard RPG, gifted a sub. Jeffy, gifted five subs. Versace Hovercraft, gifted five subs. Wow, the community is awesome. And Jorbius, thanks for the follow. And yes, where does this mug come from? Shop.thegrim.gg, but the URL is not working right now. So go to our Discord and get the link. Or someone put it in chat. Mark, I think you're right. Actually, <laughs> actually Rob, what I just said, stupid. In a leech game. Welcome back. If anyone would like to nominate, I'll take it. Rob nominates Jerome. Rob nominates Jerome. Tell us why. So there is, yeah, there's exorcist information pointing towards Jerome being the leech. If he is the leech, he should not die here. And at least we know who's on the evil team, potentially. This won't end the game, of course, if he's the leech, but it'd be nice to find out whether why there, nobody died last night was it monk protection was it soldier or was it exorcist choice jerome uh, i don't know because i, I believe my fashion my information to be quick so far and i'd like to get a bit more i think it'd be a bad idea but go ahead four votes needed all right that's way enough to yeah right I mean, I believe that he's probably the leech. I uh, yeah, like but there's votes. I think five's enough. I think I might know who the minion is if Jerome's the leech. Cool. Do we know who the host is if Jerome's the leech? Yeah, well not yet. I, if Jerome's the leech, I have two people I don't think are the host. Yes, and I have a nightmare situation of who I think could be it, but I really hope isn't. Yeah, I'm thinking similarly. I'll let you go with your assignment and see where that goes. Second well, call for nominations. I've heard of one outsider claim. Anyone else heard of outsider claim? I've heard of two. I've only heard of one. There are two. Uh, there's a saint and a sweetheart around the circle. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Final call for nominations. I'll bring this day to a close. In three. There. I seamstress checked Eric and Becca and got a yes. Maybe. Two. One. Jerome is executed and does not die. Go to uh, sleep. Nice. nice. Yep. All right, Jerome, you leech. Well, they found the leech. That's not what they got to find, quick. though. <laughs> that was quick, right? <laughs> Thanks for the cheer, Jeffy. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's just half the puzzle, right? That's not even, that's like less than half the puzzle. Nobody cares, but they are right. There are two people that are they're pretty sure are not the leech host, and that's Lucy and Mark at this point. Um, but also Eric now knows who he can snake share whenever he wants, <laughs> um, which I think he has a chance to do right now, but does he want that choice? I don't know. We'll ask him. Is this how you saw the script playing out so far? 
there's a lot of different options and I, I was, you know, not hoping for Exorcist picking the leech on the second night, but it, that doesn't solve the game, so. So he's picking Becca, so he will not. Does not want to become the demon. Yeah. Mm. He also did hear that he was in a seamstress ping with Becca, so maybe he thought, oh, I don't know. Could he have thought, I guess maybe he's just picking a safe choice then. Yeah, how do you make how do you reconcile that? If if he doesn't want to turn, he would pick the person he saw as the same alignment as him, I guess. Hmm. But yeah, Harry, I mean we he knows yeah. who the demon is, right? So if he doesn't pick yeah, the doesn't actual demon. Do. Then he yeah. Okay. Maybe he'll wait and just snake it out the last minute. Um all right, so Mark. Mark has to pick someone who isn't the demon. And Jerome is going to pick someone to die who probably going to be Mark. Probably the exorcist. Yeah. Got it. Jonah as the chosen. Um, I'm thinking that for now, at least we frame Jonah as the, as the minion. Because of the outsider count, I really, I would rather pick either Eric or Lucy. That's as fair. The minion. Lucy could be the sp- by pretending to be the dreamer if we didn't screw up brian's pings we probably could have sold sell that world so i guess we doubled down on eric i think i think but, like they have to either know that it's a spy or that uh yeah. Coulson was drunk for some reason but eric is a spy specifically because he was seen in a seamstress ping with becca right so if he was seen as good it would have to be because he's specifically the spy um yeah we're running out of people to frame actually (laughs) uh but yeah that's fine um all right jerome make a choice i mean 99 percent of the time you pick the exorcist here but maybe you go for like the sweetheart yeah exorcist it is uh dreamer Make a choice. Sorry, Philo Dreamer specifically. And who, the only person that nominated yesterday was Rob, so it would make no sense to give Rob a yes, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Unless Rob we just want to end the game, <laughs> we don't give him a yes. Um. So Mark. So Is that's an invalid choice, right? Oh no, it's uh, it's valid. It's you can choose a dead player. Pick. Yeah. Yes. So uh, exorcist or what? Hmm. Exorcist or I guess what minion could he be? Was he in? He was in. He did nominate. So if ooh, if we show him as a minion, I guess we have to show him as a minion. Um, have to. I mean, we could show spy, but you would never really show spy. Spy Mara says show spies for all evils. That that makes sense. I think at this point, yeah, spy is the best. Exorcist. To do. Spy. It does fit with what yeah. Okay, so character will do uh, exorcist or spy. Boom. Okay, Rob's gonna learn a no. Since he was the only one that nominated. And, and Becca sees that the exorcist is dead. Send the groom. I'm I'm worried about where this game is going. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I think it's not going to be. I don't think Rob's long for this world. But we'll see. Uh, Gwek, Becca's got it. Yeah. Let's wake him up. Good morning, town. Mark has died in the night. Three minutes. That's actually good for us because we already chosen the demon anyway. So, Um, Lucy, Uh, Mark, come on. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm guessing. Okay, we can hard claim to each other. I think. I think it's fine. Uh, do you want a three, two, hard one, hard claim? Just let's just hard claim. I mean. Okay, well, we can 3-2-1 do it. 
okay, I guess. Three, yeah, three, two, one. Exorcist. Exorcist. Yeah. Yep. Okay. okay. That's what I saw you as. No, I, I, oh. I'm the dreamer. I saw you. I dreamed oh. you. I didn't know you were going to die. I saw you a spy, but I'm guessing you're not the spy that was just killed. Although maybe you were. Um, yeah, I'm the dreamer. I'm. I mean that, or I am the spy. But I. What have you I seen? Have in, those... What have you seen? If if you're the dreamer, what have you seen for everybody? I okay. So I. I dreamed Bryant. Bryant is part of why. That's part of why Bryant is partly confirmed. I also I, the next day I dreamed Drome, and I did see him as a leech. That's part of why we were voting on him, um, or at least that's part of the info that pointed towards him being a leech. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay. Again, I assume we're both good. Yep. Um, I'm the soldier, and I and I chose you last night. Okay. As a safe choice. <laughs> That makes sense. Um, yeah, I'm the soldier. Oh, okay. Oh, so there's another possibility other than the, other than the exorcist. Yep. Interesting. All right. Okay. Cool. Right. Bye. Thanks. Bye. I'll let you work this that out. Be... Uh, I'll yeah. let you work that out. <laughs> but, <laughs> fair, fair uh, I'm either the would, exorcist, would you... the pacifist, or the philo. Exorcist, pacifist, or the philo. All right. Do you want to nominate um, somebody today so I can get some information on you? Because I am the town crier. Um, if I, I was kill probably. us in final three, I guess, probably. I prefer, oh, there, actually, no, I can I can die today. I'm happy to die today. I mean, what are you going to do? Poison somebody or drunk somebody? Doesn't matter. Well, that's it. There's not that much info left. I unless... don't think there's... It depends what Eric is. Um, I mean, I'll probably drunk Lucy, but that's fine because we, we think Lucy... <clears throat> if Lucy finds good players, it doesn't really tell us if they're poisoned. Correct. It doesn't. It doesn't do anything for us anymore. Um, Becca's yeah. claiming soldier. Yes, I have that down. Um, oh. Which is going to be really hard to verify. Yep. Could be the so, no death deal. Jorbius, in that world where the saint is the leechos and it's a tie, well, the saint's poison, so then the saint's ability can't go off, and then good just wins. But if there's ever a situation where it's a tie, then good always wins ties. Jonah, did you lie to me about your role? Yeah, 100%. Welcome back to town. Let's find that leech host. Nominations are open. I think um, I would make a great leech host. Why uh, you... Eric, did you did you at yourself? Um, I did to to a couple of people privately. Okay, um, out to town. I, am, I will not. to town. I will to town. Um, I'm the snake charmer, which <laughs> really can't play for good. You got to pick Jerome. No, I Jonah, 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 can you nominate Eric for execution? Anyone can. Oh, you want me to? Okay, I understand. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. I will nominate Eric. Jonah nominates Eric. Tell us why. Um, Eric is possibly the lead host. Let's find out. Eric? Um, I think I'm possibly the lead host. Let's find out. Can I take uh, can I make a reference, Eric? <laughs> Yes. Oh, Jerome, would yeah. you like your pertinent information? Am I the one uh, chosen? Well, I will not as a knocker from the lab, but you, if you're not the issue, you're also my only way out of town. I'm hoping that you're going to crack under pressure and decide to pick me for some silly reason. So for this reason, please don't kill Eric. Thank you. Eric, that, if you pick Jerome tonight, we can verify if you're the lead host. Oh, that's true. I can, can't I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then you and then you get to pick a new host. Then you'd become the lead host. <sighs> Four needed. <laughs> Five's enough. Eric's on the block. Any other nominations? I think I'm also, um, for what it's worth, Jerome talked to me straight away on day one. I think that um, there's a good chance that I'm the leech host because of that. 
Hmm. Okay. Interesting. I well, wouldn't. We, I wouldn't mind doing to, me let's, tomorrow. Let's kill you tomorrow then. I would think that. I think that's a good idea, to be honest. Okay. Tomorrow sounds good. Final call for Brian. nominations. Brian, I know you said you you think you're not the lead host. It, are there people out there? Who I actually didn't that? say that. I could okay. definitely be the lead host. Oh, all right. Uh, I'm I'm the saint. There's just not a reason to test that till final three. Okay. That's correct. That's correct. Bringing this day to a close in three, two, one. Eric is executed and dies, as does no one else. Go to sleep. Mm. Who's, who's our second outsider then? I voted with Guitar. All right. This is getting interesting. I feel like they're running out of people to kill. Rob specifically asking Jonah to get the read on whether Jonah is a minion or not. Yeah, I think you're 100 percent right. The outsider count being hard confirmed means we can't ever sell Jonah as a minion um, because there's no like minus one thing. So there's really no one to sell as the minion at this point. All we can do is say Lucy as like the spy who's has the grim that's fair um that is 100 percent fair yeah i don't know jonah's offering himself up for execution tomorrow which will make sense um let's see i mean i we'll see uh eric's dead mark's dead so let's just get jerome's pick i was really hoping that they would have done that thing where eric picks the leech to find out if he's the host or not because that's the ultimate snake charmer gambit <laughs> yes it would have been so perfect come on eric you should have done it for the content come on join the evil side uh oh killing becca yes so, that's a good call so killing becca who's been bluffing as the oh yeah soldier as the soldier that's interesting. Uh, it's very interesting. I wonder if there's like it, she can't be the leech host because then that would have been happened. Is he just sowing like chaos here? Unless Becca either comes out as the klutz or the sweetheart at this point on yes. her death, then this is going to like slip to slip evil team towards a bad path. True. Uh, Jerome sends the text that says, I'm just banking on the town eating each other and killing off his own spy, <laughs> which makes a lot of sense. But Becca can pivot here to being like Klutz or something, which would be a really good pivot, but we'll see if she picks up on it. Um, let's wake Lucy. Make a choice. Rob's going to learn. The only person... Becca yet, I don't think. Nope. Lucy disconnected. Oh no. Come back, Lucy. If 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 Lucy dreams Becca, we could show like, oh man. I think we use the spy's misregistration to make Lucy think that she could be the leech host, right? Um at this point, Lucy's got so much good information. I'd rather pin Lucy as the uh, spy. Mm -hmm. um, I I kind of want to go out on a limb, and if Lucy picks Becca to say klutz, and and hope that Becca picks up on it. Yeah. So we would show klutz as the good side, but what do we show as the evil side? Probably just spy, even even though we technically could say anything. Right. I think spy saying spy for for everything is more. If fun. we show if we show <laughs> Baron, it's even more wild. Um. Let's let's see who uh who Lucy work. picks though. Right. It just so okay. basically it's us doubling down that Beck is the first thing that we say right. When reality is not, reality is Becca's the spy, and that's how it's explained away mechanically. Um, but Becca oh. can register as whatever. So. Exactly, exactly. 
Let's see. Lucy is going to dream Becca. Yeah. You know what? Let's just see. What are what are our outsider choices, right? Really quick. Klutz makes sense. Sweetheart would want to hide. Klutz would want to hide. But Jonah's uh, already claiming sweetheart. Puzzle Master wouldn't want to hide. Yeah, we're just gonna show we're gonna show Klutz and Baron. I th- yeah, I think that's the best we can do. Klutz or Baron. And they're they're gonna say there's no way there's a Baron, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, we're, this will also make Lucy potentially think that she's a leech host when she's not, which also helps Eva a little bit. And we're using the spy the best we can to sow chaos. So let's do it. I sent it. It's done. No going backs. <laughs> I'm good with that. Uh, uh, and we don't. We tell we Rob don't no wait again, Becca. right? Yeah, but we tell Rob no because the only person uh, that nominated. Cur, cur, um, hold on. Um, if we are selling. Uh, Becca as a klutz at this point. We could show Jonah as a minion. Yeah, it's it's whether it's whether it, we want to pin Lucy as the minion or swap to Jonah here. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Look at text chat. Lucy uh, is whispering to Becca that you are the klutz. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, jo- Jonah. We're, we're saying Jonah is the minion. We're we're pivoting. <laughs> so we're gonna wake Robin. Say yes. Uh, yeah. Let's go for it. All right, let's try it. See how this goes. <laughs> let's see. This is gonna be a fun, wild morning. <laughs> let's see if Becca can pick up on it. Let's give her a second. You are the klutz, even more dreamer spy confirmed. I think you're just the leech. Honestly, Becca says, I'm not the klutz. Okay, well. Too late. We're already going for it. Going for it. Good morning, everyone. Becca has died in the night. We're down to our final five. Hey, Becca, you claimed to be the soldier. Uh, What were you really? But you're muted. You're muted. That's what they were really. Yeah, I was. That's why I'm very confused right now. So it was a recluse pit hag demon change that killed the soldier? Is that what we're saying? <laughs> killed the this soldier? The recluse. Killed the demon so we got what? two going? Is anyone the recluse? Is Becca the, uh, Becca's the minion. Why would the why would Jerome kill his own minion? Because you're the only you're one of the few people that like then it, it eliminate you you're one of the few people that if, if the that's the, ca- if that's the case me, then, we then i am the lead show so you should kill me today if that's the case i'm the lead show so you should kill me today because i got a yes on jonah nominating yesterday and i got a no on becca nominating previously so um hmm. i'm okay with it <laughs> sure Did becca okay stay with with that? there i think I know it because. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so my that's... info is on the first day, Becca, Bryant, and Mark all nominated. I got a no. On the second day, I nominated and I got a no. On the third day, Jonah nominated, I got a yes. So either Jonah, Jonah, if you are if you are not minion, if you are hundred percent good. Yeah, no, I'm not the then, minion. I'm the sweetheart. There's there's then there's no way then I'm I the must minion. be then I must be the Leecho, so we can kill me. Is it possible that we had a pit egg that turned themselves into a recluse to kill the soldier specifically? That feels like it's a possible. lot of steps. Yeah, it was a really long night too. I mean that that would be that would literally be the only way to get rid of Becca though, right? Otherwise, Becca is in the final three. Becca, just is, making sure. Sorry, uh, just not making sure you, you are the sweetheart, right? I'm not the sweetheart. No, I'm the sweetheart. I'm the sweetheart. Oh. Becca's the soldier. Um, <laughs> Rob nominates Rob. Well, everyone's not back in town, so we'll wait back for the two minute, and then we'll. Oh, we're not oh, back yet. I'm muted. Sorry. Yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait until the the one minute's up, and then we'll open I nominations. Thought we were, I thought we were back. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, we were, and then people started going to voice um, chat. So, yeah. So I, sh- I should definitely be killed. Now. So there's two worlds here, chat. One is that Lucy's just the leech host. Uh, and two is that Rob's the leech host, but I don't think there's a world where Rob's not the leech host here, unfortunately. 
we only tried that because we showed Lucy the the sweetheart thing. We wouldn't have pushed on it so much, but Lucy whispered back and said, I saw you as sweetheart. No, I saw you as the klutz or the baron. So given that, we thought there was a chance that Becca would take it. And we sent the information to the town crier before Becca then didn't then push back on it. So it was just bad timing. It'd be therefore Lucy actually saw Becca correctly. Right. And therefore I am still the chosen. Right? Yeah. I think Becca's the minion. I could yeah, be. I so, too. so And it would take Becca being specifically a spy. Yes, it would. But, but why leave me alive to figure it's to solve the game? That's weird. It's either this is Legion and I just Or Becca is just a minion, which is <laughs> Welcome fine. back. Uh Becca nominations is... are open. Rob nominates Rob. Rob nominates Rob. Tell us why. There's a world where uh, I chose because my information is bogus. If Becca died at night, she shouldn't really be the soldier unless a very unusual scenario. So therefore, when Becca nominated and I got a no, that would be bad information. And then when Jonah nominated yesterday and I got a yes, that would be bad information. So they're flagging me as the we chose. Three needed. Five <laughs> is enough in every alive player, which is pretty hard to beat. Any other nominations? Nah. We might need more town crier info. Someone else should nominate. <laughs> Final call. So, in this world, Becca specifically the spy, right? Yeah, yeah. And well, that we already was, said like, it's most stuff. likely a spy game. It's most likely a spy game, right? Bringing this so day to those. a close. In three, two, one. Rob is executed and dies, and go to sleep. Well, then you wake what? up and and Jerome dies and the game is over. Oh, yeah. oh, the bang. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. To be fair, to be fair uh, being seated between the uh, exorcist and the the fire dreamer from the start is rough. Yes. I, I would have been, yeah. Uh, anywhere yeah. else, if I'd been anywhere else, I'd been fine. But it's important to pick the neighbors first, and you know. So Jerome no. was indeed your starting leech, which is why he did not die to execution. He was seated next to Lucy, your philosopher, turned what else other than Dreamer. I got the, the Dreamer. message. Dreamer, what else would I even choose, of course? Um, and then, um, I mean, I think I don't think there's a lot of unsolved information here. Mark was your exorcist who picked Jerome night two, which is why there was no uh, death that night. Colson, your seamstress who picked Eric, the snake charmer, and Becca, the spy who yeah. registered as good to the seamstress ability, which gave him the same. Um, Jerome opted to kill Becca. Uh, so we, we did that. We were trying to figure out who we could frame as a minion. And with outsider count, we were, we were basically down to just Lucy was going to be the minion frame. However, what happened is that night when Lucy dreamed Becca, we decided to use the spy's ability to do uh, Klutz and um, Baron to register to the philosopher to do one of two things, either a make Lucy think that she was a lead host or B give Becca a, like a minion out or sorry, uh, an outsider kind of pivot. Um, and we weren't going to really do much with it, but Lucy whispered Becca in the night and said, you're the klutz. Yeah. I'm surprised you didn't take that Becca. I, I gave I that, I gave that to you. And, and I should we, have. when I we saw have. that we pivoted from giving a no to Rob your leech host town crier to a yes. In, in hopes that it would paint Jonah as a minion. However, uh, the the whole like uh, 
soldier thing really uh, meant the whole world came crashing down. And it was just a tough spot to be in all around. And like literally Becca responded with, no, I'm not a second after we sent the town crier info out. So there's no way to go back on it at that point. Uh, it was really yeah. close. Joe, I didn't pick you because of my neighbor. I talked to Colson. He, he looked, he saw Eric and Becca on the same team because I was going to pick Eric potentially. But then I thought if they're on the same team and Colson died, I, and your your defense day one when I asked you to defend yourself seemed kind of shady, so I said, "Okay, I'm going to check out Jerome," and that's why I picked you. That's All things considered, <laughs> the leech host ended up being pretty solid choice um, because it, it was someone that doesn't necessarily want to die day one, and it could have gone worse with right. the leech host pick. So it was a good it was a good lucky uh, pick, Jerome. Uh, as I said, yeah. the, um, the, the, that was the last thing that will be the last day, and also the fact that I was seated between the. The chore I was was afraid of. If I'd yeah. been anywhere else in the circle, I'd be I'd be easier, I think. Because yeah, people just, tend, well, I mean, to, I mean, to be fair, first. finding out you're the leech doesn't really do anything because it's an automatically a leech game, right? It's not it's not like another game where there's multiple demons and like that helped us figure out what type of demon it is. Well, it, it, it give me the option because of, of that, to say I'm the leech host. It, all it means is that you're not a leech host, right? That's all it really tells us. It, it, it doesn't hurt anything otherwise. So. No, but for, for me, it give me on the last day I can say my information is wrong. Therefore, I'm a leech host. You should kill me on the last day, and it give me one more. One yeah, more time, I, mean, day. I mean that is that is something you don't have, obviously, but yeah. Well, thanks. Uh, thanks, Flying Ludocolo, for coming out and running this with us and, and, and uh, putting a fun lease script in our hands. I put the link in chat. I'll yeah. put it in again. Go grab the script. It's on the uh, the BOTC scripts website. Uh, and again, congratulations on second place. Thank you. Awesome. Glad I could join. Nice job. It was fun. Yes, it was nice meeting you and thanks for joining us. So we're going to go take one last final break. We're going to get set up for game three of the night with the winning script of the competition, which is Nat's love script. And uh, we booked a lot of West Coasters for this late night run. We'll see how many actually show up and play. Uh, so anyways, uh, we're going to go uh, set this up. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
All right, everyone. Welcome back for our final reveal of the night. Although I do need to, uh, I do need to finish the prediction. So we had evil wins fifty eight percent, good wins forty two percent, good did win that. So about half of you lost all your channel points. Five thousand channel points towards the correct way. Congratulations, guys, on that. And I saw in Nat, Nat, welcome to the storyteller seat because you are actually our uh, third streamer of the night and the winner of the mono demon contest with the script called stiff friends on stiffer grounds which is a vigor mortis script so congratulations yeah. natalie we natalie who's been on our stream been a regular player um a, a member of the grim for a very long time uh congratulations uh, tell us about your script what inspired you yeah um thanks uh, so this script is based on the bigger mortis, obviously, and the paranoia that it brings to have your neighbors die right next to you, probably even poisoning you. Most of the time they don't, but they likely will. Uh, also, outsiders are really easy to bluff on this, which is a really nice thing. So keep that in mind, players. Yeah, and trust no one. We're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go set up this grim. Don't go anywhere. Nat, I assume you are more than comfortable taking the lead on the storytelling angle. Is that what you'd like to do? Uh, well, not really on stream. Uh, no, that's on you. But I, I can suggest what characters to put in. Yeah, let's start there, right? Um, for demon, we don't have a choice. This is the theme of the night: vigor mortis with a minus one outsider modification. Um, which is interesting, right? You know you have a built-in minus one outsider modification. So you have Baron as a counter to that and Balloonist, right? Yeah. To kind of modify it. So what do you what kind of setup? We are running a this is an eleven player game, right? So base one outsider and we are in a um uh two minion two game. Million. Yeah, so we get a little more wiggle room here on the last script. <laughs> yeah, I think we definitely want a poisoner on a farmer, but other than that, everything else uh, is up to you entirely. I think to probably don't put in a Slayer if you don't want a day one rerec. I've seen it a lot, ha happen a lot. Just a Slayer gets put on the block and immediately shoots the demon. I'm fine with not having a day one rerec on our final script. I'd like to, I'd like to showcase the script a little bit more, I think, for stream yeah, purposes. Yeah, so probably don't put in a Slayer. Um, what are we thinking? Uh... So which obviously makes people more afraid to nominate. Baron just takes away information straight up. Pit Hag becomes a slow Baron, right? Um, what does Pit Hag do on this? Does it make outsiders mostly? Does it let evil like turn themselves into farmers or something? Like what? What? Uh, yeah, it allows uh, farmers. It allows making drunks. Uh, you can. I, I've seen it a lot happen that they just make good spies and poison them the same night. So that's the thing. Uh, it can also make a barber for the for exiting the demon. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of fun stuff that the pit can do. For example, they can make themselves into the night watchman, get themselves confirmed, and then become the demon via barber. Nice. Chat chat is uh, one half a chat. Twitch chat is asking for a baron to be added in a barber. And then YouTube chat at Ada Kinzer, hello Ada, is saying leave Baron out and give an outsider bluff. Uh, both so are pretty, uh, pretty good. You can also just do both. You can give outsiders a bluff and put in a Baron. Very true. Uh, we, because the drunk is on the script. You know uh, what? Outsiders are really to bluff. I do feel like Baron is cool, but on a vigor, do we want to give him a juicier minion to kill, like a witch or a pit hag? Is there anything that like town has to deal with a uh, like a pit, a vigor killed minion? It doesn't look like there's a preacher, right? Uh, there is a monk that can protect the players from being poisoned. From being poisoned, it. got it. You can't like you can't kill. You can't take away the minion's power. Okay, um, so I'm fine. I'm fine with Baron. I'm also fine with. I mean, Pag feels like a lot of chaos. How much chaos are we wanting at the end of the night? A lot? A little? Well, we don't have Bryant. <laughs> Bryant. Let's do. Uh, I can do uh, Baron Pithag instead of Water Poisoner. 
Oh, you think so? You want to take poisoner? You don't. You don't want to do the poisoner farmer combo anymore. Oh, farmer's still gonna go in there. I just think we can definitely replace a poisoner. Well, I guess the pig can turn the baron into a minion, right? Yeah. Okay. So with this setup, this gives us one outsider to zero, back up to two. So barber and drunk. Yeah, and we can give Saint us a bluff if we wanted to. Sure. Um. Do Undertaker. I mean, is there a, is there a set of minions you feel that are are good representation on the script? If you want to select them, feel free. Uh, quite honestly, this script works perfectly when you just randomize it. All right, we'll do farmer and we'll random the rest. Make sense? Yeah. Uh, boom. Mayor, fortune teller, empath, oracle, monk, investigator. Investigator is pretty interesting on a on a knowing vigor script. That's cool. Yeah, it was one of the reasons uh, I that I really like that interaction. See a bear in here uh, yes. instead of the pit hag because that will be rough for the pit hag otherwise. Uh, we probably leave the monk is not the drunk, or maybe we pass it out and see where they land, and then we can figure out who the drunk is. This looks good, right? You're happy with the setup? Yeah. Boom! Out it goes. Uh, Colson as our vigor, Jerome as the pit hag, and Rob as the Baron. A nice split across town there. Um, Dave the empath is a good potential drunk target that close to two evils. Ash the fortune teller is always a juicy one. Somehow I have not done a drunk empath on the script yet. No. I have not. I put in every single, every single fight I put in has been sober, and never believes it. <laughs> well, let's make Dave the drunk then. That the other thing, towns or uh, chat saying is a drunk investigator could be fun, but it's also cool just to show the true investigator. Like, you know what I mean? Like, um, show uh, show the actual Baron and let him panic when when Rob dies. Yeah. You were saying that with one of the interactions, so if, if a minion is, like, let's say Rob is killed by the Vigor and then is pit-hagged into a different minion, he retains his new minion ability. Correct. Okay. That's pretty that's pretty powerful. And if he's poisoning someone like Sicknick and Sicknick becomes the barber, uh, the poison goes to either Ash or Mark on this case. Right. Yeah. All right. Any other setup we need to do? I guess we got to show Rob as the uh, minion. Who are we showing as the wrong? Uh, probably Eric. Eric the Oracle. We also need a red herring. Yeah. We'll show Eric red herring. <laughs> do we show? Who do we show? A farmer? Do we show? Barber, the monk. Monk's always a solid one, right? Yeah. I, I everything wants a solid target here. Yeah. I say we give the monk. Unless there's something else. Monk because monk. Yeah, monk's fairly solid here. Uh is that the only other setup ability we need? That's it. Cor yeah. Cool. This is gonna shape up to be a fun game. Uh, let's get predictions in before I forget. We'll run the same prediction as last time. Uh, which team will win? Two minutes. Good versus evil. Hello, Jeebus wept. Showing the Baron an outsider in an investor game might be fun. Uh, an outsider on the other half? Yeah, theoretically. Uh, bless. We didn't talk about actual bless, right? So you said saint or recluse? Saint, right? Recluse can also work for uh, specifically the investigator claim. True. Um, we didn't. Uh, we could give the Slayer as a as a thing with Night Watchmen. They could fake confirm. Balloonist sells the extra outside. Actually, it would just kind of mess up outsider count, right? Uh, yeah, but like if one person's claiming it, 
uh, and there's two outsider claims. They're just they're sat drunk somewhere. Yeah, that's true. And there might not even be a Baron. That's that's. There's a lot of worlds here. Uh, so recluse, balloonist, and what's the juiciest one we can give? Knight, Undertaker, Juggler, Night Watchman, or Slayer? I think Juggler. Juggler. Sweet. I think we got ourselves a game. Let's put him to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I want you guys to go. You guys would all have a great time. It, you'd have a blast. Hey, players. Uh, on a boat, Mark. Go to sleep so we can murder you. Hey, we're, we're busy talking about cheese, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's all all right, minions get the card info. Wake Rob, wake Jerome. This is the demon. These are your minions. With no reason not to send it, right? Yep. Perfect. Colson's going to get these are your minions. These characters are not in play. Tiffy gets... We might want to wait just to make Tiffy think she might be poisoned at some point. That's fair, because uh, we want to wait and s potentially sell a poisoner slash witch pick or something. Uh, Jerome yeah. gives the got it. Rob gave the got it. What are we telling... Uh, what are we showing Dave? A zero? Uh, It'll make Dave him... Zero makes sense. Two also is fun. Zero and two are, are you know, the funnest options. I mean, one's true, right? Um, will two make him just think he's the drunk or poison, perhaps? We, we can give him a one, and if Sicknick dies, we can just bring it back down to zero. Fair. And if Jerome dies, we keep it at one. Yeah. That's solid. Yeah, um, some information is always good. We'll go ahead and uh, so we're going to say um, Baron and then we're showing Eric and Rob, right? To Tiffy. I messed up last game, so I got to double check everything to make sure I'm doing it right. Tiffy is going to show Eric and Rob as the Baron. Send. Yeah, don't, Dave. Don't, don't show Rob that information. I know, right? I can't believe I did that. I'll edit it out. No one will ever know. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, so what are we deciding? Two for Dave? Oh, sorry, one. We said one. Yeah, I think a one, and then we give him incorrect information later. Once the neighbor dies, yeah. Pag will be a juicy first night kill, too. Or even tomorrow we can give him incorrect information regardless of if they die, just to make him think he was poisoned. Ash, make a choice. Dave gets a one. Ash picks Eric and Rob. Neighbors, of course, fair, and learns to know. Tiffy. By the way, that's just rude. Why is that rude? Baron is Eric or Rob? Hmm. I'm not entirely sure why, what Tiffy's joke is that. Uh, maybe that one of them is her neighbor. Oh, they're both Ash's neighbors, I think. Oh, could be, yeah. Uh, we're we'll leave a little bit of time for the, the balloonist bluff. Make him paranoid about a spy. So uh, predictions are in. Let's see what is chat's prediction. Eighty-one percent thinks evil's gonna win. Wow, three people to two people, so even. But the channel points being bet heavily leaning towards evil side. All right, this is gonna be fun. Uh, <laughs> let's hope there's not a day one re rack. All right, let's send him to sleep or wake him up. I, I feel like the people in Oklahoma should hire you for all those like commercials where you advertise an entire state. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Unfortunately, last Ooh. night, Nat 
and Evil Steve were both killed by a weird key looking demon. What is a vigor mortis? I mean, it's kind of like rigor mortis, but why is it a key? Why not? Good question. That's Whoa. not the, the mystery is not who the demon is. The mystery is why the demon is. Go solve that. How are we supposed to solve that? How are we supposed to solve that? Not the demon. Why the demon is. No one ever asks how. Shit, so that's gonna get some possible challenges. Of we can which, figure out the, Wilson, who the demon is, but not why. I'm good. Hey, Richard. <laughs> oh, are you an empath with a one? No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. I'm just shitting you. <laughs> you want a hard oh. claim? What's that? You want a hard uh, claim? I'll hard claim to you. Why not? Okay. Will you hard claim back? Absolutely. I'm the Oracle. Oh, great. Uh, I am the investigator. Uh, I saw a baron between Rob and uh, Mark. Rob or Mark equals Baron. All right. That's Do you mind cool. if I if I claim Oracle to people? By all means. Okay. All right. All right. Sounds good. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Yeah, you would need to die, or I would need to die, and you would need to still be alive, and you're probably not gonna yeah that's fair so yeah well hopefully uh, i die sure. and then you yes get mike it is the farmer and then that we don't have to deal better. with the barber that would, swap. Be, that would be much better if you die and i get turned into the farmer that would be awesome yeah uh steve if you could do that for us please if no I worries can. Steve. yeah i'm on it the secret dies yes. i would like to be the farmer thank you mm -hmm. secretly this is an atheist game <laughs> <laughs> it's not even on the script it's that secret Bye. Cool. Mayor. All right, cool. We'll talk later. Thanks. Bye. Which one are you? Which one of what? Of the list of all these things that we could be. Which character am I? Uh, mm -hmm. I'll say I'm a starting info role, but I don't want to share my information just yet. I want to find out some stuff first. So you're a knight or investigator? Yep. All right. I'm either the fortune teller, slayer, or barber. Fortune teller, slayer, or barber. Cool. Mm -hmm. I will type that down. All right. Thank nice. you. Um, well, while you think, I'm an outsider. OK, fair enough. Mm -hmm. So we have a baron or a balloonist to play. I just realized the three that I chose are just trouble brewing. So here's my <laughs> trouble brewing three. Mayor, fortune teller, slayer. Have fun. I did that last game. By <laughs> I don't know. Like, out of all the characters here, why did I choose those three? Because I don't know why. It's... What do you have for? Mm. I would say I'm an information gathering role, but I don't want to share what my information is. Okay. Not yet. Continuous? I'm not going to specify just yet. Okay, that sounds good. I'll give you three. I'm oh yeah, any player, farmer, any player. emote you put in will show up on stream. Okay. Yep. Let's get crying mics in chat. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, poor crying Mike. You know what? Since I started backpacking, there are a lot more places that I would that I'd want to go. Tippy to. or Richard? Oops. Nope. I, right. I click chat and then nothing go. happened. <laughs> yeah, I'm having issues with chat. If anyone wants to grab me. Yeah. Sure. You don't have to brag, Mark. You two or three. I'll match whatever you do. Okay. Yeah, you share and then I'll share equal. How's Evil that? Steve's in chat. Sure. Um, I'm either the balloonist, the knight, or the juggler. The balloonist, the knight, or the juggler. Okay. Yep. I am either the farmer, the oracle, or the knight. Farmer, oracle. Well, I had an R in there for fork as my acronym. Streamlabs does it, Bambi. Farmer. You can use Streamlabs to pull emotes from the Twitch chat uh, and right. overlay it. I like that. Um, yep, I assume if uh, I was in your night pings, you'd tell me, so I won't even ask. Um, that is correct. All right. You are not in okay. night pings. All right. Bye. Thanks. 
I haven't told any. I've given threes, but I haven't told anyone. Oh no no, okay, Bambi! I'm, you, ones, so I'm, I'm using OBS somebody. as well, but I'm using Streamlabs okay, browser Richard and Joe gave me two of the same bluffs. Uh, Message me. I'll show you how to set it up. Yeah. I got okay, I'll just remember. <clears throat> Welcome back to town, everyone. Uh, I will accept juggles. Richard, I saw your hand first. Uh, I would like to juggle Mark as the mayor, Dave as the poisoner, uh, Eric as the farmer, and Colson as the balloonist. Juggles heard. Colson? Uh, I'd like to juggle Ash as the poisoner. I'll juggle Rob as the slayer. Um, Eric as the oracle. <coughs> And let's say Tiffy is the Vigor Mortis. Juggles heard. Uh, Jerome. I like to juggle Ash as a Slayer, Corson as a Balloonist, Mark as the Mayor, Marcel as the Juggler, and Dave as a Knight. Dave as the Knight. All right. Juggles heard. Sick Nick. I would like to juggle myself as the Juggler, Becca as the Barber. Tiffy is the Vigor Mortis, Eric as the Oracle, and that is four? I think so. Yeah, okay, so, and then let's go Rob as Slayer. Rob as Slayer, Juggles heard. Rob? Yeah, I like to juggle clockwise for me that everyone is the Vigor Mortis. So Ash is the Vigor Mortis, Eric's the Vigor Mortis, Tiffy's the Vigor Mortis, Richard's the Vigor Mortis, or Colson's the Vigor Mortis. Juggle heard. Tiffy? I would like to juggle Mark through Rob clockwise. So Mark, Jerome, Dave, Sick, Nick, and Rob all as the Vigor Mortis. Juggle heard. Shenanigans are closed. Nominations are open. Shenanigans are never closed, Steve. Shenanigans. True. It's a way of life. Uh, Jerome nominated Dave. Jerome nominates Dave. Tell us why. Uh, first, I'm quite shaken. And two, is that quite anything? Never mind. There's none. And two, it'd be a good way for the Undertaker to find himself. Dave? Not a good kill here. I lied to Jerome about my role, so... <laughs> They, they think I'm more willing to die than I am. Six votes needed. Oh, well, I'm very offended then. You know who lies? An Why did you lie? Evil lies in this game of what I've heard. <laughs> he suddenly turns into Southern Belle. <laughs> <laughs> who is not enough? Dave is safe. Someone dies. From execution. Uh, nominate Jerome. Dave nominates Jerome. Tell us why. There's an evil ping on Jerome. Probably minion. Not demon, but I think there's a minion ping specifically on Jerome. Jerome? Uh, when you lie about your role and know you're not willing to back out, so I believe you might be a minion yourself, and therefore your information cannot be trusted. Six needed. Six is enough. Jerome is now on the block. Tiffy nominates Mark. Tiffy nominates Mark. Tell us why. Well, first of all, he's never been to Oklahoma. Stream is so first confused. All, I have heard of an sense. evil thing on him. There may be evil within his soul. To be fair, Georgia Tiffy has never been to Oklahoma either. Uh, I absolutely have <laughs> been to Oklahoma. You shut your mouth. <laughs> uh, Mark, your defense? My choice is if I have to go to Oklahoma or, or executed, I guess I'd rather be executed. Correct. <laughs> Six will tie, seven to execute. Come on, Ash. Uh, Mark's going to die to the bit. No. Evil lift. Mark said a correct thing, and so I will keep my hand down. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you're getting one of your. We don't want to tie. Why are we tying? Ditch it. We're going to tie. Oh, I tried to put tying? my hand down. It didn't work. I was clicking the button. 
Six is a tie. No one's on the block. I'll nominate Becca, Becca. Witch check. Mark nominates Becca. Tell us why. Besides Witch check. Witch check. And if Becca is dead, then she can't poison me. And it's sketchy that Becca didn't put her hand down. Um, I tried to put my hand down. If y'all want to kill me, that's fine. It's probably better to get this out of the way early anyway. All right, six to Long tie. To Seven next. Cute. This. I do find that compelling, but I don't want to overvote it. Are you actually yeah. okay with dying? Yeah. Okay. I'm the barber. Seven. That's what I was assuming. Is enough. Becca's now on the block. Any no, other nominations? No. All right, we're going to bring this day to a close in three, two, one. I do declare Becca has died. All right. Well, the demon gets immediately to make a choice if the barber comes back into play or not. Yeah, and also very wild that uh, Jerome got kind of joke nominated. Not really joke nominated, but was on the block. Luckily, they got rid of it. Yeah. Uh, let's shout out all these follows real quick. Uh, Silvercore, Pengums, Jeebus Wept, Zoro Dynasty, Long Strider with the follows. Also, Long Strider with the sub. Thanks for the sub. That's awesome. And Math Blade with the follow. You guys are all awesome. Well, Barber swap it is right at the top of the night order. Uh, we are both of the opinion that we run it immediately, correct? Uh, that is the correct way to rule it, yeah. Um, let's see. So, what's the card way to show Barber? You wake and show the Barber and then say make a choice? This character died? Or that's not even uh, a This character selected you, Barber, make a choice. This that's character selected you, Barber, make a choice? And that goes to Colson, right? Yes. All right. Send it. Well, Rob might be double claiming Barber, but if Rob now becomes the Barber, then it all works out, right, chat? Well, he's making, he's not selecting, I get, so. He might want to uh, make it seem like Beck is just a minion, right? Still could leave yeah. Rob as the official, actual Barber. Um, okay, so. Richard gets to be the monk. Make a choice. And then Jerome. Oh, this script does have the same thing that the other script had where you can technically have a arbitrary death night by creating a recluse. Very true. You probably shouldn't, but. So Colson is now safe there. from the demon. Good job, monk. <laughs> yeah, that is true, right? Uh, the, the demon. But you, there's only one demon on the script, so can you actually... You can't make a demon because it's not any valid choice, right? I guess a recluse, yeah. right? Yeah, you can only make uh, arbitrary deaths via specifically the recluse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of lame to do. All right. Wake to roam, funny, make a but... choice. It's funny, but yeah. It is it's something you can keep in your back pocket, though. Yeah, I mean, it is it is rough that Rob is double claiming Barbara chat, but without a swap, Becca is not confirmed at all. Which is interesting. Um, and while I'll, I'll get Colson's pick while Jerome's making a pick, even if it's arbitrary, seems unlikely. Immediately kills Ash. Ash is the fortune teller. Uh, I don't know if Ash telegraphed that or not, but pretty solid pick. Might make him think it's a spy. Jerome has not quite made a choice yet. Probably thinking of something really powerful. Um, Jerome is going to turn Rob into the poisoner. Uh, wake Rob. You are... The poisoner. 
he will not get to make a choice tonight because we're already kind of past that in the night order. Um, Ash is dead. Becca's already dead. Sicknick doesn't die. Uh, Dave's just going to keep learning a one, I presume. Uh, we could give him a different number to suggest that he got poisoned tonight or tomorrow or yesterday. Yeah. Uh, that's all we can really do. And if we change it, it would probably be to a zero. Or do we want to yeah. give him a two that makes him think he was poisoned tonight and not yesterday? Hmm. Uh, that's just a decision I will leave to you. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna. Sh I'm just gonna wake him and show him a zero. Make him think he was poisoned one of these two nights for sure. Uh, Ash is dead. The Oracle is going to learn a zero. A zero when one of their neighbors died, so they're not gonna believe it. This is where the whole like mining into the script, right? Your neighbor dies. Can you ever trust it, right? Like, yeah, because obviously you kill minions. This is vigor, right? You're trading yeah. outsider count for like this the ability to kill as to kill your minions. So that is pretty good kill, all things considered. Killing the fortune teller and making the oracle doubt their information. And then we'll just give it a minute for the balloonist. Um, I do. I didn't catch all the bluffs. I think Colson was like possibly doing a juggler bluff. Um, I think was doing balloonist. Well, Jerome okay. was doing juggler. Kind of covering. Okay. Um, and Jerome was going for dragon. Much, we don't have a dreamer, but Rob. I heard Rob claim something crazy. I think it was Barbara. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's not too much. But yeah, we don't have to like actually back it up too too much. Okay, let's wake him up. Who's that? I'm about to go up in age at the end. Hey, good morning, town. Hello. Ash has died in the night. Oh, thanks. That's a great birthday present, guys. <laughs> Happy birthday, Ash. Happy Four birthday, minutes. Ash. Happy birthday, Ash. Not today. No, at the end of the week. Oh, hey, Ash. You want to chat? So it's more, it's more like a dead den, I guess. Anyone swap? No? Maybe so. What about uh, outsider claims? Have people heard lots of outsider claims? I'm going to you a juggler, you slayer, or you farmer. Ooh, that's fun. Because I'm going to give you um, slayer, farmer, mayor. Sorry, and you said juggler, slayer, farm, oh, right? Farm, yeah. Cool. Uh, I wasn't paying attention to juggles at all, so. I can I can give you the one I I did, but I cannot I cannot know confirm that if I'm the juggler and I cannot confirm that my number. Yeah. I have Asha Slayer. I have Asha Slayer. Marcus Marcus Mayer. There was a knight. Myself as a juggler and Corson's bad witness. Uh, sure. If I'm the knight, I saw Robin Mark. Robin Mark, interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm going to ask for your Valenus pings. If I am the Oracle, then I have a zero. Okay. And yeah, good reason to trust it if you're the Oracle. Ash That's, died first. That's um, interesting, Mara. If Eric is an outsider, it could pass poisoning to you. But from his claims to me, he's not an outsider. So. Right, I don't think Eric's an outsider. Yeah, so in case you're not too familiar with the characters, when Becca is the barber, so when Becca died, the demon has a chance to swap any two players and they'll swap characters. Uh, Colson opted not to use it. So in this world, uh, though it doesn't keep a barber in play for more chaos, it does make Becca look pretty sus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can think I'm evil, that's fine. Fair enough. Thank you. All right. I'm good. I am not certain we've met before. I don't think we have. I, so I haven't fun. been playing as often lately, so. Mm. What are you up for? Uh, I have I have a three that is almost a swear word, but there's no C on the script. Ooh. Farmer Undertaker Knight? Yes! <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> I got I so give, close. 
Yeah, so close. Uh, is there any C characters? No. Uh, characters? Chef. Chef, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not on the script, though. That's unfortunate. Um, yeah. I will give you Slayer, Farmer, Mayor. Everybody's claiming Farmer today. Yeah, no one wants to get killed, I guess. Okay. So what I'm getting from that is that you're the reckless who doesn't want to be demon killed because you don't want Night to Jorinda. register as a minion when you get demon killed in Poison and Tom's Road Neighbor. Is what I'm getting from that. Mm -hmm. That would be okay. the reason. All right. Got it, got it. Yes, bye. Cool. Thank you. All right, thank you. What's your take on Dave? Why did I pick on Dave? What's your take on Dave? Uh, you and him are arguing, uh, but I honestly, if you are an empath with a one, I think Mark's the hit. Not the empath, but because uh, Dave is going aggressively against me right now. And if he's not the knight, I wouldn't know why. Uh, Hello, okay, MJS920. Yeah, uh, basically, he claimed two day roll that would be okay with the first day, and I wanted to help because I like to. It's good for an attacker to confirm themselves somehow. Right. Swap yesterday. No one said so. I mean, it's possible evils just moved around too. Yeah. Hmm. Because no one said any anything about no being swapped. Being I mean, I was saying. Did you get swapped in anything last night? I did not. Okay. So at least we know that there's no longer, like, we don't have to worry about more response happening. Yeah, yeah. it's a, it's a bonus. Really. It's quite good. Double gong. Got double donged. <clears throat> and there's no, good fire on the, there's no good fire on the script, so it was it was safe to kill the beta, the beta that day. Based, based, on the, based on the script, it's it's probably good to assume that Ash might be a minion and Eric or Rob's information is poison. Sure. I'll, like, I'll accept you, juggles. Not, but... And I'll accept nominations. You say you're accepting juggles. Fire there are juggles. mechanical ways there could be juggles. Oh, I guess there are. But you don't Did anyone get Barbara swapped into a juggler? <laughs> that is my dream come true. In this case, we'll put up all the fake juggles. Ah, uh, let's go, Eric. <laughs> I'm not gonna juggle. <laughs> Richard? Uh, I would like to juggle Steve as the atheist, Natalie as the atheist. Uh, Becca as the Vigor Mortis and Ash the Vigor Mortis. Wonderful. Uh, the first two are invalid choices, but the other two are heard. <laughs> That's going to be a four, I think. <laughs> Definitely a four. Definitely a four. <laughs> All right. Uh, nominations? This game is ridiculous already. Uh, I would like to say, without outing who it is, someone else is hard climbing Barber. Not just Becca. Hmm. I claimed what? Barber. I got oh. a soft claim, Barber. Yeah. I just want it to be known to town that I have been hard claimed. I have heard two hard claims of Barber, one from Becca, one from someone else. Well, Wait. Becca, are you still the Barber? And you are you're muted. muted. You're muted, Becca. May not be the Barber, but you're certainly the muted. God, God damn it. Um, I, have, I am still the Barber, and I talked to the other person who... Uh, is claiming Barber, and I'm not worried about why they're doing it. Okay. Hmm. Tiffy nominates Rob. Tiffy nominates Rob. Tell us why. Uh, there's a harpy on the script, and I've been selected to think that he's evil today, so... Um, <laughs> Rob's, Rob's also somebody who's given a soft uh, Barber claim, and a claim that shouldn't mind dying for a possible Undertaker confirmation. I've also heard of another uh, of an evil being on Rob. <laughs> Rob? So, I don't know. My threes that I gave out, did I give out two to, to you or threes to you? You gave two to me. Yeah. So, I mean, my threes, I don't remember which ones I gave to you, but um, are all uh, important except for the one about the soft armor, right? Um, I don't know. You can kill me if you want. It doesn't matter. But... Good player. So this is evil vibes from Rob. Five needed. I mean, I always, to be fair, to me, I always give off evil vibes, but you know. You do usually give off evil that is vibes. True. I Rob actually have heard of evil, evil on Rob. 
No, it's just weird when he doesn't give off more. evil vibes. Just put it on the block. Right. It's more weird when I don't give yeah. off. Four's not enough. It's Rob is safe him. from execution. Any other nominations? I'll nominate Jerome. Mark nominates it... Jerome. Tell us why. Information Every single game, nominate. Mark thinks I'm evil. Uh, his information may have already been received, so he may be okay with dying based on what he claimed. Jerome? Uh, one in some AB, and two, it has uh, some suspicion on both of my neighbors so far, coming from me, so I have to have you, either you or Dave on the block tonight. All right, five needed to put Jerome on the block. Were you saying you had info about Dave yesterday, Jerome? I don't. Or just that you suspected him? It's more suspicious. Because I know he plays, and he, right now he's being very, he was very aggressive day one against me, and he tends to be even when he does that. Or it's not enough. Jerome is safe from execution. That's four votes on each minion. That day, suspicious, of, suspicious of Mark, but I have no more information than that. So for now, I will nominate Dave. Jerome nominates Dave. Tell us why. I have no certain information against it, but he's tend to be a very aggressive player when he's evil, and he was very aggressive day one against me. So I will have to be on the block. This Dave? is the second time Jerome has nominated Dave. I have an evil ping on Jerome. We almost had him on the block yesterday until Becca saved him. So that's it. That's what it is. I'm not saying that is interesting. Is. I do have an evil ping on Jerome. Five needed. That is interesting. Becca didn't save Jerome. We tied Jerome and Mark. Yeah, it weird tie. For him Jerome was there. on the block until Becca tied it and took him off. It's true. That is true. Okay, that's what you're and saying. Three, but, but not enough. Someone want to nominate Richard? I'll just say both of Richard's claims are claimed by other people. I mean, there could be a reason for that, but also he seemed to be wrote, wrote, right, uh, voted in lockstep with Jerome. If we think Jerome is evil, then Richard may also be evil. Hmm. It's fair. I heard any of the claims. That's interesting. I'd rather nominate Tiffy. Evil, but I have a pretty empty ground. Is that an actual nomination or just you yes, want to? Nominate Tiffy, please. Okay, please. fine. Tell us why. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just the, the same thing uh, that was just said about Richard. I've heard Tiffy's claims elsewhere. And I guess just because I heard them before Tiffy made them, I, I tend not to believe Tiffy's claims. Tiffy? It's not my fault you didn't talk to me on day one, Colson. True. Colson on Colson violence. <laughs> uh, I'm good i'm ongoing information um i i would be a bad kill for town i'm all about colson on colson violence five needed let's do it also mark i gave you three rolls not just two i definitely wrote down three for richard four is not enough tiffy safe Final call for nominations. We can do a hard four talk check. <laughs> do it. Let's do it. Is Mark do a hard four talk check? Yeah, let's do a hard four talk check. You can go wrong, right? I am so. Okay. Richard, Richard nominates Mark. Richard oh, nominates oh, Mark. Sure. Tell us why. Um, I don't know, just vibes, and also, I gave him three rolls, not just two. So, well, one of your rolls, my roll. So I, I know that's not it. Hey, Mark, can you smile real quick? Anything else, Mark? Let nope. me see you smile, Mark. Let me see you smile. Five Come needed. On. Let's see it. It's reading socially good to me. I'm just scared of that hard vortex check. He I didn't like to kill smile. I know, because he didn't want to give away that he has his evil smile today. Three is not enough, in fact. Less than five. Final call for nominations. We should kill somebody. Yeah. Rob nominates Eric. Rob nominates Eric. Tell us why. Just because we should kill somebody. Eric's role that he claimed to me probably isn't the best one to kill, to be honest. Um, but there's not that many people left, so whatever. Eric? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, uh, I'm happy to go uh, to sleep and not kill anybody, too. Whatever you guys want to do. No, we should kill. 
five needed. The demon. I mean, it's early enough. I don't think we always have to kill every day. I don't know. Mark's reading more socially evil to me every minute. It's our prayer account. Two votes is not enough, and the huh defense goes in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> Final call. We're going to bring the day to a close in three seconds. Can, who has it non, then who can be non? I have it non. I have it non. 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 You can I can nominate me. me. I can be nominated. Did I get nominated? I'm, I'm I a did, neither. Right? Yeah. Bring this um, day to a close. Is, who? I think we just. Yeah. Chris, I don't know. We, we still think in three. three. Day of I can save you from a hard board. Two. One. Vortox nobody's ex nobody's executed. Nobody's dies. Go to sleep. The Vortox wow. wins. For an experienced, Secret for an experienced group of players not to kill somebody. That's they cannot get consensus at all. Yeah, the paranoia is just kind of getting to them right now. It is. Eric thinks Ash is evil. Yep, of course, because the uh, zero man. But also, twice, the like two days in a row, the minions have almost been nominated and executed. So Colson might want to pull the trigger on killing, locking in one of them tonight, I would assume. But we'll see. Yeah. So the we'll one see. thing here is the monk could protect someone they think is a minion so that they can't be bigger killed. Yes. We'll see if uh, that, that, that really feels like what you should be doing as a monk, right? Yeah. Um, all right. Rob, make a choice. Richard, make a choice. Rob poisons Tiffy, who said she had ongoing information and now eats a poison. That's pretty good. Richard is going to protect Coulson again. Rough. No star pass tonight, which can't happen on this script. Um, okay. Uh, Jerome, make a choice. If the demon knows they're being monk protected, right now would be the best time to just uh, sink a kill, just to make it look like they're a good player that was about to be killed. Yeah, do you take that gamble? Do you like? Are you like, man? I trust you, Richard. Is he? Is he specifically well, they told them? Shoot themselves. They can just shoot at that body. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's smart. Yeah, yeah. There are plenty of dead bodies. That is true. Uh, Jerome is going to make himself into the fortune teller, which doesn't do anything. Which doesn't do anything because there is a fortune teller in play. Okay. Yeah, might as well have turned yourself into the spy, Jerome. That's true. Because a uh, spy would just see the whole grim. You could do pretty much whatever you wanted. Interesting. Okay. Uh, Coulson gets a kill. No, it doesn't actually go. I mean, it would have gone off, but there's a uh, fortune teller in play. So it doesn't change his role into anything. But had he... So he would have been stuck as a fortune teller had it actually gone off. That is correct. Coulson kills Richard. All right. He's not going to kill a uh, minion. He's still going to hold out. It's interesting. Just, just spreading that paranoia early, right? Without actually killing a minion, you just make people paranoid. Yeah, and if if it had been an ongoing information role, right now she she would have thought she was bigger poisoned by Richard. Right. And now Colson can pretend to be vigor poisoned, I presume. Um Becca's gone, Sicknick doesn't die, Dave still has the same neighbors. I believe he thinks he was pegged into the drunk. Yeah. So we showed him a zero yesterday, right? Yeah. So we just we show him a zero. Show him a zero again. Yeah, I think we showed the zero again. Until his neighbors die, and then we can have fun. Colson is claiming balloonist, yeah. So now he can his balloonist picks. Ju just show him zero, no matter what. From now on, if he thinks he's gonna, if he's gonna meta that he's a drunk, we just give him correct information so that he thinks he's poisoned. Yeah, we can uh, follow him around and see if that's actually what he's thinking. But I did hear through the grapevine that that was something he was potentially doing. Uh, Eric also gets a zero, but he thinks he's poisoned. 
zero this late in the vigor game seems unbelievable right yeah uh but if you played the script a lot you actually notice a lot that minions don't actually get killed in the night just the paranoia is what drives town huh leave a little bluff here but um yeah we'll see what what shakes out of this richard kill a lot of people were suspicious of richard if he dies it's gonna make so i, I feel like richard dying just means they execute jerome but maybe likely, yeah. maybe that was the plan hmm. anyways let's wake him up Oh, you mean like a Duke Amni ability. Good morning, town. But not for Richard, who dies in the night. Four minutes. Uh -oh. I literally didn't have any time to do anything, dude. Mm -hmm. God damn it. <laughs> okay. What's that about? I don't know that context. Yeah. Uh, I have a question for you, and I want you to answer honestly. <laughs> okay. Are you the Undertaker? I am not the Undertaker. Lovely. Great. Perfect. You're not telling people you're the Undertaker. Good, because I not... am. <laughs> no, okay. And I just want, you said you were an ongoing information role, and I wanted to make sure that we weren't about to get ourselves in Double Climb City. I am either the Oracle or in a role swap with the Oracle. Maybe Poison Locked. Because I got the last two nights, I got zeros. You think Jerome's the poisoner? Yeah, I think he's got me poison locked right now. Okay. Um. Uh, what do you got? I was just the monk. Well, that sucks. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, interesting. So I've heard of invest an investigator ping not showing poisoner. Interesting. What minion does it show? I don't know if I want to say that right now, but I mean that's fine. You don't have to tell me who's yeah. in the ping or anything, but uh, I've heard it's Baron. It would make sense. We've already had a barber claim, so there's yeah. likely a, a, a drunk, drunk out there. Yep. So, all right. Cool. Thank you. There. He told me Barbara. Okay. And he told me that we were conversation one, day one. Right. And then Becca publicly claims Barbara. Right. And that now we have to deal with this. There's a townsfolk in the top half, uh, but he didn't. Right. He, what do you think in chat? I don't know which. I don't know yeah. if he wants me to out. Somewhere, Dave, sure somewhere there's a drunk. I, 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 based on the twos he gave me, I, put a, I haven't done on my grim based on the twos he gave me. Yeah, okay. Where could it be? All right. Um, all right. Are Who, you in the information role? I, I, I am not in the information role. Well, I would guess Eric or Tiffy right now, or Jerome. Okay. Eric, Tiffy, or Jerome. Okay. All right. There's oh, what, are a what are you? I forgot to ask Barber you. math what are you? blade. I yeah, starting Baron. The recluse who's trying not to get oh, that's true. It's a poisoner now, but it was a Baron. Get turned into a poisoned. I mean, I could be register as a minion and then poison oh. my neighbors as well. I'm the mayor, so okay. So you are our mayor win possibility. I like it. If I'm not poisoned, which I don't know if there's a point. I'm trying to figure out the yeah. minions. I just wonder if there's a poisoner. They've been pretty quiet so far, haven't they? Well, it can't be a witch, I don't think, because we had a lot of noms yesterday. Yeah, so, yeah, I agree. Which is not really possible. And if you're if you're an outsider, isn't it base one? So then that means we have three, and it's a baron. So we have baron poisoner, maybe. That would there would probably have to be a baron, I think. Yeah, because we get a minus one on the vigor mortis, right? So baron poisoner. Yeah, yes. I mean, instead so to the baron turn poisoner. A potential balloonist, which would add one. Um, hmm. But yeah, I think baron. Or we have a balloonist and one fake outsider claim. So why have the barber? Was it the one you heard of? Huh? Uh, I have a recluse on my grim. Fortune teller oh. died night two and oh. didn't get any picks, Jeebus. Thank you. Yep. Want to talk tomorrow? Sure. You're my only blank. 
Yeah, I got a, I got one blank, not you. I got a couple of blanks. Thank you. That's what I meant. Yeah. Welcome back. I'll take uh, juggles and nominations. No dead juggles. You're a little too dead, I think. You were already dead, yeah. probably. You're a little I mean, too late for the barber swap, man. I'd say. You know what? He's I dead, will. I'm going to really accept dead? it. I'm going to accept it because I think there's mechanical ray that he could be dead mm -hmm. and still have his juggler ability. So, Richard, juggles. I would like to there juggle Mark as the Vigor Mortis. I'm reading the script again. Juggle heard. Wait, what is Probably that? not, but I'm just just be safe. Eric. Yeah, I'd like to juggle that I am the juggle juggler, that Jerome is the juggler, and that Colson is the juggler. Nice. Purple juggles. You can trade juggles. Juggles heard. All right. Wait. But... Uh, Tiffy? Colson nominate. Still juggling. I was gonna nominate. Oh, I had my hand up, so I was first in line. You I are? know you were you were gonna nominate me, weren't you? No. You were gonna look at that. Look at that face. I Stay promise. Uh, it's a lot. There's a lot of close and close and violence going on. That's a little. That's a little <laughs> sly smile you got there, Colson. Mm. You're not getting any of my cheese tomorrow. Uh, Tiffany would like to nominate <laughs> Sick Nick. Yeah. If we nominate Sick oh, Nick, clip that tell us why. Context, please. <laughs> Sick Nick. That's how I say your name. I can't. Say it is. Anyway. It's canon. Um, so she yeah, has been doing the bit with me. We both agreed before the game we were going to do the I declare a bit, but she's been We both too forgot. I didn't no, forget. Do Have it. you not? You haven't been. Not every time there's been a death. No, because that's annoying. <laughs> I thought that was the point. <laughs> I do declare. I think that I there declare. might be some. I have also heard of an evil ping on her that is separate. Late night clock tower fall, folks. People get I've heard on delirious. I uh, no village idiots on the script. Sick, sick Nick, uh, how do you defend against that? Uh, I would like to start by saying sorry to Tiffy. I have been too stressed to... I've been too busy trying to figure out the level of tampered with I am currently. And also... <laughs> Figuring out what I'm telling people, I, I'm I'm stressed. <laughs> and Tiffy has read that as socially evil, and that's fine because I think that at my current state in the game, I'm not helping anyone. <laughs> uh, pertinent information: I, uh, <laughs> Nick is scarred by this role. Yeah, I'm not helping anybody. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> or needed. So it, it information if nick is what she claims then she shouldn't die right now but Listen, man we can try to defend me as much as i want the chances that i've been put hagged into the drunk are very high <laughs> or They're is enough high. sick nick is on the block oh god i i hope i hope you did put a pit hag in here now uh, just for me <laughs> I know That's I just voted for that, me. but I just wanted to make sure someone got on the block. I do have people I would rather kill. And since yesterday okay. the town did not want to kill Tiffy, I'm going to nominate Mark. Colson nominates Mark. Tell us why. Uh, yeah, like I said, I have three demon candidates. Um, uh, Tiffy was one of them, but the town did not seem to like that yesterday. So I would like to try Mark today. They tried me yesterday as well, but. That's true. I didn't, but town did. You're right. I've gotten numbed every day. Well, that just means we like you. Anything else to defend, Mark? Nope, run it. Four yeah, to tie, like five to you. die. When we like our friends, we do choose to kill them sometimes, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's a sign. <laughs> I mean, currently, I will say that I would rather kill Jerome if it's not me. Two's not I'll enough. Nominate, I'll nominate Jerome. Mark nominates... Just Keep the tradition going. Yeah, I don't mind voting on Jerome. Either. Jerome, tell us why. Yeah. Mark, you want to add anything, Mark? No, Mark, I guess not. Accusation? Mark, Mark, you nominated. You have to open your mouth. <laughs> yes, he has no accusation. Okay, Jerome, do you have a defense? No, Mark, no. I have accusation that we, we've numbed. I said we've numbed Jerome every day. I've yeah. heard him an evil ping on him every day. He's going to keep getting off the block every day. So let's numb him again. I'll make this time I'm going to make about two, really. 
Well, they've already nommed me three times and failed, so let's go for you. <laughs> Four to tie, five to die. Yeah. If it's not going to be me, I'd like it to be Jerome. Yeah, I mean, I just said I think Mark might be the demon, and Mark was the one who made this nom. So. It was. I was the one that made this nom. If you want to kill me tomorrow, you can. Five is enough. Jerome is on the block. I nominate Dave. Jerome nominates Dave. Tell us why. I say I, I agree that Mark is most likely to be at that point, but uh, I would suspect that Dave is most like, also most like, likely to be evil for the reasons I, I said before. That's a better him than me. See, I think Dave. it's likely our evils are already dead, right? Maybe. Vigor? Yeah. Oh, like Vigor killed minions. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure I Richard think... was one of the Vigor killed minions. Real quick, so... Dave does have a defense. Yeah, Dave? I'm an empath. I got a night. I got a one night one, which is why I pushed on Jerome. They read very social evil. I believe Jerome's actually the poisoner. He's got me poison locked right now. Are you getting one or two now? I'm, I got a zero last night, but that's night what I one, meant I to say. Not, not one or two. Yeah. All right. Five to tie, six to die. I actually sort of think Ash is good, so I do think there's still a living minion. That could be. Let's, do you have base, said, base one or two? Jerome and Richard seem um, to vote in step, so. I think we're on two. Two's not enough. It is. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, because we're nearly a normal player cap. That's why. Yeah, we're almost to normal. <laughs> At least our normal. Final call for nominations. I have heard of an investigator that both of their pings are still alive. Hmm. Gonna bring this day to a close. Oh, is that the me thing? In three, two, one. Jerome is executed and dies. Go to sleep. I was really expecting the game to end there with how quickly that that? push Well, turns out the evil pushed their luck one day too far with the Jerome thing. Uh, But the game didn't end, so it makes everyone really confused. Yeah. Uh, hopefully the Oracle gets poisoned tonight. Yes. I think this is where you pull your safety valve here. So that way you have a way to stop a mare win. <laughs> um, for sure. Uh, but yeah, this, this is where showing the actual true one to Dave, uh, might be weird, but then now that he's got that one and zeros and now he just, well, if, now he, if he, he thinks the Rome is a poisoner, we probably want to show him incorrect information. Oh yeah, for sure. We're gonna we're gonna more, we're gonna make the best of that situation, right? Okay. Uh, rob the poisoner. Make a choice. Colson the vigor. Make a choice. Rob the poisoner picks Dave, who's already Dave. yeah, who's already the drunk. But they, I mean, if he's been getting zeros the last few nights, then he should have at least been s- tipped off that he wasn't necessarily healthy. Um, Mark is the kill from Colson, So we bounce that. Probably on to Tiffy. Yeah, probably on to Tiffy. Tiffy, the vigor or the vigor kill bounce. Um, Sick Nick didn't die. Dave, the empath, is now... Now that he's between two goods, poisoned and drunk, yeah, we, go back to I one? I think we show him a two or a one now. Two would really make him think that he's been poison locked, right? He was one next to Jerome, and now it's a... Well, Jerome died. So it would have to be Sick Nick and Mark specifically. Yeah, hmm. well, a two would be Sick Nick and Mark, and if there's no poisoner... Uh, with a one, then it's Mark or Sick Nick was evil the entire time and Jerome wasn't. Right, like Sick Nick was the poisoner, poison locking Dave. Will yeah. he think he's the? Will he think is a two two on the nose? I think a two is two on the nose. Yeah, we probably show a one. Go back to one. Yeah, and just he's been poisoned. Like, like he can build a world where he's poisoned between two evils right now. Yeah, I think that's solid. 
we're basically in the, by doing this, we're kind of framing sick Nick as being the poisoner for most of the game. Right. Yeah. Kind of. Uh, Dave got his info. Fortune Teller's dead. The Oracle is going to get a one, a legit one for the first time, but he's going to think, he still thinks he's he's poisoned, thinks that Ash kill. Yeah. Uh, this is also uh, night four, so this should be Colson's last night of information. So we'll see how he wiggles out and not dying. <laughs> yeah, hopefully he doesn't get executed immediately for that. He's going to say, oh, we only have so many days to act on my info, so let's start killing my pings, right? We'll see. Yeah, like, he needs to get two, execu- two, two executions, that's it. Yep. So we're down to, we'll be down to six after this, right? Because they skipped a day? Yeah. All right. So why isn't Coulson killing his minions? Killing, I mean, there were, I think it's just the paranoia is more like paying off more i guess that was the plan we'll see my grim failed <laughs> Yay! Yeah, four spots failed. What are you good morning there? town tiffy has died yeah, in that's... the night yes I tiffy. six alive I, I have an announcement to town i am the investigator i oh, thought i was in a role swap with somebody who shall not be renamed i'm not mad at them i'm just disappointed uh i saw a baron between mark and rob this is why I've been pushing on Mark and Rob. Oh, yeah, I have no mm. idea who you are referring to. Ah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm not mad at you. I'm just disappointed. Hey, at least you haven't been named yet. <laughs> uh, Richard, sure, yes, talk. Uh, you're the only blank on my rim. That's everyone else is probably wrong anyway. So did she, either she's yeah, convinced herself. It was Mark and Robert. So She's just I am, trying so to frame I was Eric. Fortune teller, Slayer, Barber, um, trying not to get killed by the. She might night. not trust Mark. Maybe the opposite. Um, but I'm not really the barber because Beck is the barber. I'm the recluse because if the demon kills me, they can make me register as a minion, then I can poison my neighbors on a bigger script. So I was trying not to let the demon know that. Interesting. Hmm. If you are the recluse, hmm, I, f- okay. Were you the slayer? Uh, no, no, I was the monk. Yeah, you were a monk. Has had a one. Okay, let's find out what Dave got now. Yeah. All right, bye. Bye. But two of them came after my neighbor died, so... Yeah, I think Richard is was a was a minion. Yeah. I'm the mayor. I think Rob is the Baron. He claimed recluse to me, but I don't know who our demon is. Although, if you believe Dave, who's who's claiming empath to me, he's claiming he has a one each night. It depends if you either either. So you know. Dave, Dave was my fourth name. I don't know what that means, uh, but yeah. Your Undertaker. No. I can confirm what Jorm was. Damn it. No, no, no. I'm telling people I'm the Undertaker to see if they'll kill me. Because I'm the farmer. Okay. Maybe but, I can lie and say an Undertaker has confirmed some stuff and just try to push that, that way. Yeah, you can go ahead. Do with it what you want, honestly. you The thing that you said to me... All right. All right, do a bit. Bye. Thank you other people go ahead go ahead do we do we think they get their chat to solve when you only get one night of info and there could have been a barber spot making that info entirely useless very true ash very true this is a hard game then it's also a figure game which means no one wants to share anything with the dead everyone's very (laughs) sus yes i i did nothing (laughs) i did nothing but either get get killed by a lucky sniper or spy so they can't blame very fair at least right now, I don't think there's a number that can turn me evil in the script. But I'd love to get turned into something else. That'd be really funny. See ya. Well, good luck. Same three. Okay, so I know what two things Mark might be or but might be claiming. All right, everyone, welcome well, back. Well, to town if you want. Nominations are open. Uh, yeah. I'll just say I'm the mayor. Rob's your baron. If you want to kill me, that's fine. I think you ignore Rob and me. Because either I'm the, at the worst case, I'm a minion, but I'm actually your mayor. So we go for demon candidates. Um, 
actually okay. my, it's not really true but okay my question right now is well, rob you claim recluse to me if, if tiffy's not drunk then you're probably just her that's not a good thing to her out in a vinegar mortis game dude my, yeah thanks mark I don't know. I'm trying to figure out. No. Uh, do Do we have the possibility of having three outsiders? Because if we have a baron, we would have to have two. Oh, two, have two, two, right, two. Right, 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 right. Never mind. I forgot the whole thing. Well, we do okay. have a balloonist. We just love three. Uh, yeah, if there's two, there should be three with the balloonist. Yes. I, 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 either way, it, either way, I think kill someone other. If you want to kill me, that's fine. But I think damage candidates are not my, Rob or myself. So. The worst Second. I can be as a minion. So there's a couple ways. There's a couple ways I can register as a baron to an investigator, right? I can just flat up register as a baron because I'm the recluse. A, B, Mark can be lying. C, um, Tippy could have been affected on night one by a poisoner, right? Um, I mean, that would make sense for the person I was supposed to be in a role swap with to be evil, yeah, and somebody to poison me in well, case I was an empath. But also, Does anyone else have any information that points towards me or Mark? Basically? Yes. Both. No. Second call uh, for nominations. Also, I would say, Rob, we have to kill you now. Because yeah. either you're evil or the recluse who could be vigor killed tonight and then poison a townsfolk neighbor. All right. right. That's fair. My theory is that I, I'm basically going with what Mark said. I think Rob is a minion. Um, I, I think my best demon candidate right now is Dave. I think Mark. I, so but... I'm the balloonist. I have four names. Those names are Rob, Tiffy, Mark, and Dave. I think Mark is more likely. I'll nominate Colson. Dave nominates Colson. Tell us why. Uh, right yeah. now in my world, I trust my information. Sick Nick is reading socially good. Mark and Rob, one of them is the Baron. I don't think the other one would have been a demon in an investigator ping. So my current demon pings are going to be Colson or Eric. Colson is a spent balloonist who is not going to learn any more names. It's true. So that's why I think Colson's a, a decent kill here today. Eric's information, what they claim to me, has been lining up and seems to be good information so far. So, yeah. Eric, what did you get last night? Real quick, Colson has his defense. Colson? Yeah, so my current assumption is that Rob is a minion and uh, Mark is a townsfolk. So between Tiffy and Dave, one of them is the outsider, probably the drunk. Uh, so I think I think Dave's either the drunk or the demon. Um, yeah. You don't have to answer. Which would make sense for Dave pushing on you, I guess. Yeah. You don't have to answer this if you don't want to, but was Becca in your pings? No. Ooh. So the problem in my world, Mark is the best demon candidate right here. I will run this three needed to put Colson on the block. Dave, I thought you thought it was poisoner and you were poison locked. Eric, can you Tiffy, go for this? Um, world? Okay. Two is not enough. Colson is safe for the day. Dave, based on your information, I'm surprised Ooh. you didn't pick on Sick Nick. I mean, yeah, I was going to say me Eric. Sick Nick, right? Yeah, Eric uh, nominates... Colson's, Colson's, or Eric, go ahead. Eric nominates Nick. Eric nominates Nick. Explain. Um, if what Nick has told me is true, may very well be uh, the drunk and uh, not a bad thing to remove. Things just don't line up. Nick? I mean, as I said, uh, currently the thought that I am being tampered with is not unlikely it's probably happening um whether or not well, what are you then because what you claim no rob i told you the truth uh but okay. it, it it is a series of it is a series of things i have been throwing several things out there that would get me either killed or poisoned typically can i uh, hurt you can I, if if Rob is the Baron and Becca's our only outsider, we should have two. I just think that makes Dave the drunk, which makes me think that Eric is our demon candidate. Don't kill me. Based on his numbers. Eric is. I don't know. If this doesn't go through, nominate me next. I am going to yeah, run if, the vote. Three needed. If you want to kill me, you can. It's not unlikely that I'm the drunk or being poisoned if there is a poisoner, but, you know. 
I mean, Nick wasn't in my pings. I will point out I have a neighbor that was killed at night, so. Right, Zero is not Wait, surprisingly you know, not enough. I'll nominate Eric mm. just to close worlds. Mark nominates Eric. Tell us why. I think it's either Dave or Eric. Either Dave is is the is. I mean, actually, my David cancer Eric, Dave, and Nick. Either Dave is the legit empath and got a one on Nick, or Dave is the drunk. But Eric just closes worlds. His numbers yeah. don't seem to line up. Unless Ash was a minion, his numbers don't make sense. So I don't think. So if Rob's uh, the Baron, then you probably wouldn't kill Ash. So I think Eric is likely a demon candidate. Uh, Eric's numbers make sense if Tiffy's a minion. They make sense also if Ash was a minion. Yeah. Sure. Because then you'd be poisoned. Yeah. Well, I mean, From... I just want to throw out Tiffy being a minion specifically because she's in Coulson's. We have, we have six alive, right? Yes. Three needed. Okay, yes, we have two executions. Yeah, keep your yeah, hand down, Tiffy. I will. Yeah, I will. Yeah, no doubt. I'll keep. Well, now there's too many people voting on Eric. Now I think Eric's good. Okay, that's right. <laughs> I just Four's enough. It. Eric's on the block. I don't think it's Eric. Final call for nominations. That's what maybe. That's what maybe it's Eric. Drum, let's talk tomorrow. Gonna bring this day to a close. I also In. nominate Mark. Colson nominates Mark. Tell us why. Now that I said it, I I wish I nominated Dave, but I already said it. I just think Eric is good, and I'd rather kill one of my balloonist pings. I just see if we can get the votes. I don't know how we can get the votes, but I would not. I would rather not kill Eric. <laughs> yeah. Mark. Uh, if you want to kill me, that's fine. I'm your mayor. At worst case, I'm the Baron. Either way, I'm not the demon, so it's kind of pointless to kill me at this point. Or we'll tie. Five will execute. I just don't think I want to overturn. It's fine. Yeah. I don't know. What insight into more of this info? Because I hear people, hear people talking about pieces of it that I'm just not aware of. It's everyone thinks I'm a bigger kill thing. One's not enough. It seems like town has made their decision. I'm going to bring this day to a close. In three, two, one. Eric is executed and dies. I'm the lead Go to sleep. Ash, who did you check, Night One? Uh. All right, now so here's getting really close. Yeah, so this is where Colson realizes, oh shit, we have a mayor in play. Let's get, let's lock our poisoner in, right? I hope. Uh, probably. Because he now that he's aware of a mayor, it's got to be scary. But yeah, yeah I mean, um, keeping Sicknick and Davis demon candidates, it's really useful. And Rob, who plus if he kills Sicknick right now, that's horrible for him. Plus, Unless, Rob is the uh, recluse that everyone knows is a recluse now, so killing him is, of course, smart because he'll poison you even if he's not a minion. I mean, maybe he won't do it, but I feel like there's like 10 reasons to kill Rob here. Yeah, Rob Rob has to be the next kill. Wait. He's poisoning he people. He's. Dave he's is poisoned again. I'm surprised he doesn't realize he's drunk, but. Yeah, like he got a zero, a, a one, then a bunch of zeros when. No when he was next to Jerome. Pit-hacking. Yeah. Uh, oh, he's killing Mark again. Mark again. I guess he already. We already bounced it. <sighs> we did already bounce it. Hmm. Do we want to honor that? That's I guess we could know. honor it. I'm. I'm always like, oh man, it's like. It's interesting, right? Because the mayor should not be able to die. That like, it, The mayor ability says, you know, it can bounce. It could just be protected. Coulson's put two kills in, which means he really wants him to die. Mark is a really solid potential demon candidate, and yet Coulson wants him dead that bad. Yeah, because I think Dave and Sicknick are more demon candidates than Mark is. And I assume Coulson wants this to clear Mark from his poison balloonist pings. Mark's not going to want to die. Well. What does Chad want? I mean, chat seems to say let the kill through. A couple of different people have said that. Yeah. Uh, and Mark could be the demon if like a barber swap happened, of course. But. 
Yeah, I think we kill Mark here. All right. Controversial decision, but we're going with it. Mark die. That's not that controversial, but still. Like this, like mayor win is a really solid way that town had to win, and we're kind of taking it away, I feel. But not the end of the world. I doubt anyone's yeah, going to trust Mark for a mayor win. I think we give Dave a one again. Which to is frame. Healthy, but... Yeah. Um. Yeah, we just give him a one. Back to true info here. Um, that should be the last thing. Yeah. All right. Let's wake him up. I'm thinking drone poisoner Mark Barron. Good morning, Hello. town. Mark has died in the night. We are in final four. To clarify, I'm the fortune teller. I was your mayor, so they must have tried to. I have an empath <laughs> one, and it's on Nick and Colson. Okay. Uh, now, now, by now, I'm not. I'm not dying. Okay. <laughs> This well, whole, are we going this to whole, sleep? Uh, no, I mean, this whole thing was like in an no, effort we just sleep to see here. if I would be killed by a bad guy. <laughs> and I wouldn't it, say and anything. I wouldn't talk guy. at all. Let the demon kill and just go to sleep. Yeah. I don't. I don't know who's gonna die tonight. Is the problem? Well, I, we'll, the, the, the way we don't sleep is if we think we have three evils. We we don't talk to give the demon information. We just go to sleep. Yeah. I don't like this. I, at first, I thought you were evil, but I'm pretty. I I pivoted to thinking you were good. So, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I think you were good, and then he takes off. Right. Hmm. He's Dave your minion. Huh? He's Dave your minion. I'm not evil. I'm just stressed. Because my information doesn't make sense right now. Quickly. Fair enough. Fair enough. That makes sense. I feel like if I was evil, I would have given you some information. <laughs> I've given no one my information yet. Well, I, I'm not sure it's relevant until, anymore, like, but I'm probably going to keep it. That could be that evil played till just the right moment, though, you know. Ah, yes. Me being chief strategy. Well, I, for, for what it's worth, who was it who, who, was it who jumped on that really quickly? When I uh, like my information doesn't make sense. I think I've been poisoned. You, uh, it's surprising that this isn't a Vortox game. Yeah, <laughs> with everyone running around being like, "This doesn't make sense." Because I'm the juggler. I'm to one, and uh, oh, you were the juggler. Yes. Fun. The thing uh, is, what were your juggles again? Uh, Corson Balonist, Mark the Mayor, Dev as a Knight, myself as a juggler, and Ash as a Slayer. Okay, well, Ash, we know is wrong. Dave, your juggle was wrong. I think I did. But Nick, Nick has given me a hard claim, and I think I believe it. I don't know what Nick is. But... I don't like. I might believe the claim. I don't believe the information. All right, players, the age old question do we sleep or do we nominate? I think we sleep. I think we're sleeping. It uh, sounds like we're sleeping. If anyone alive would like to nominate, Feel free, otherwise I'm going to put you guys to sleep. I'm not sure we have an evil dad. I don't think we do. I think we That's do. That's a scary probability. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. I'm so worried about that. If Eric is obviously, getting true information, we should. Obviously, in yeah. Dave's mind, there is an evil dad. Yes. There has to be. There's, there's two deads in my world. The amount of people running around saying that their information doesn't make sense is wild. Mine's fine. Yeah. Bringing the state to a close. Not relevance anymore. Yeah, mine. There was a I don't know what Nick is, but three. Based on the rules, I mean, yeah. Two. One. Sure Good night. We know we have at least two evils, if not three. Chat makes uh, a very good point, Nat. With this whole, whole script is based around here. paranoia, right? And then. Everyone thinks they're they're vigor poison, and there's not been a single vigor poison in the entire game. It's kind of well, wild. There hasn't even been a single <laughs> normal poison, yeah. Yeah, just a drunk been poisoned uh, and uh, spent an investigator that didn't get any information. So that's uh, that's funny. All right, Rob, 
make a choice. Yeah, Who do you think the kill's gonna be? Kill Rob here. Rob. He needs to kill Rob because Rob is not a demon candidate in any world. Rob's gonna poison Sick Nick. Sweet. Colson, make a pick. I feel like. It's just looking bad for, for Nick here, kind of. There's a world being built where Nick is definitely the demon, right? And uh, he's killing Sick Nick. Sick Nick is it, it is. Is this a play? Did they plan for this? Uh, I don't know if they know if she's the farmer. I thought she outed. No? Maybe not. I'm not sure. All right. Well, she dies. She's poisoned, so but we won't wake one... anyone. Yeah. No this one was the thinks Rob is the demon unless they they specifically got barber swapped. True, because of Tiffy's ping. Yeah, and <sighs> they they Tiffy thinks she's po she was poison night one anyway. Uh, Dave is gonna learn a one again, I guess. Yeah, we'll we'll show Dave a one again, and then Nick. Um, Nick doesn't do anything. Yeah, Nick. Nick would normally so far the way the farm works. If they die at night, they normally wake a good player and tell them that they're the farmer. But poisoned Nick won't go off. Um, is is the plan here for Colson to claim that he's the farmer now? That would be a solid Maybe. play. Uh, Dave. The only problem is that he will look suspicious as hell. <laughs> we but, we could show yeah. Dave a two, but a one is the safer choice, right? One is the safer choice here. We'll play it safe. Um. Yeah, I don't know what evil has in store, but I hope that Colson claims to be a farmer. <laughs> um, but it does make it hard for Rob to be the demon, right? I guess they can convince people that Dave's the demon. Yeah, Colson's claiming that Dave is the demon and not Rob, so true for developing his information. Yep. Nick could also be a vigor killed minion, but going in the final three, probably not. Either way, it's been a great game. We made it to final three. Let's see how it ends. That, that's been executed. I mean, the demon, yeah. uh, demon killed. Good morning, town. Sick Nick has died in the night. We're in final three. It's happened. I have, I have, I have an announcement. Yes. <laughs> it's happened. I was the farmer. So did anybody turn into the farmer? I was the undertaker to get them to know the only people who knew I was the farmer before this were Dave and Rob. Tiffy knew I wasn't the undertaker, but I don't know if I told you I was the farmer. Feels, Tiffy. You told me you were the farmer. FYI, game ends in five minutes. That feels not okay, spy does anybody want to say like they caught the farmer? farmer? It has to be an alive player. It wasn't me. Oh, I swear to it wasn't God. Me. I hate you all. It wasn't me. That's a good sign, Nick, honestly. If someone were to claim it, that would that would be more so you, you, you were say. poisoned then yeah probably or, like or, i like i said I, i'm probably our, our, po our poisoners our poisoners is a vigor killed minion because i'm the mayor and they killed me at night so we still have a poisoner that's poisoning people no i mean i was I claiming to be undertaker and i'm not poisoner. the poisoner chances I mean, that i was either you have to say i think, I think i'm the only very high can we do one robin sure sure I mean, you want me to start? I'm muted. I just want to go with pertinent info. Mark, 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 I can't be the poisoner because I died. Like, apparently, says he's poisoning. All that of sick Nick is dying. This, this I got a one on night one. Uh, I believe Jerome was the poisoner that after I nominated him and got him on the block, I got zeros the next two nights until we executed executed Jerome. Then I got a one on Mark and sick Nick. Mark was a, in a baron ping. I believe Mark was the baron. And then I got a one again on sick Nick Coulson. Uh, which makes me believe Colson's likely the demon here. And now I still have a one with Colson and Rob. Colson is just Dave, and you're the only good, good. player. Hmm? It's just yeah, Dave, three minutes. Only good player. Let's just go we'll get around uh, real quickly. 
I am the farmer. I was telling people, or at least floating the idea that I was the undertaker in order to get me either hopefully killed at night, which yay, uh, but probably either drunk or poisoned, which, you know, based on the fact that no one's saying they caught it, I was probably one of those two things. But hey, say love eat my dudes. I'll speed it up. I'll speed it up. I'm the recluse. Fortune teller, gotta know one of my neighbors. That's oh my god. Okay. Eric. That was day one. So oh, that sorry. might have been Barbersoft. Um Oracle got a zero and a zero and a one. Zero when uh, Becca and Ash died. Zero after Richard died. One when Jerome and Tiffy died. Mm. Um, I am the investigator. I saw a baron between Mark and Rob. Rob is the recluse. Probably was not going to say a no in a fortune teller ping. This is why we should have shared information yesterday. Monk protected Coulson, then died. I was the balloonist. I got Rob, Tiffy, Mark, Dave. I was the barber. Okay. So I, I, two of my balloonist picks are still alive. I think that makes me likely suspect that the minion and the demon are alive. I think they killed Sick Nick because Sick Nick wasn't in my balloonist pings. Yeah. Uh, I would like to say that Rob, day one, conversation one, hard claim barber. To Pretty me. sure we gave Eric, yeah. And then when I asked if he wanted to keep doing that after Becca told town and came out publicly, he said, I don't know why she's doing this. So that makes me believe that Rob is. Colson, you're the only player left. I think Rob's probably just minion. Yep, Rob's minion. I think Rob's minion. Uh, no, Rob's recluse. Mark, you're you're Baron. That's I'm gonna nominate Dave. Colson. Dave nominates Colson. Tell us why. I gave it all my empath information. What uh, my current evil team is Drone, Mark, and then Colson is the demon. Now that I have the current one, so that's my world. Colson? Um, I think it's Dave, but I am still thinking about how it could be Rob. I'm going to nominate after this. Yeah. It's not Rob. No, I didn't, Tiffy. Two votes a a recluse. to put Colson on the block. I'm willing to make it three just to be. My information point, I'd put Dave and. Uh... I'd rather have four. Three doesn't okay, work. We, we have to have four or it uh, doesn't matter. Because okay. three, they can just tie. Three's enough. Colson is on the block. So I, yeah, Gotta be I Dave. do think it's I do think it's Dave. But it, is there a reason it couldn't be Rob? I mean, Stand yes, he's either up. he's either recluse or Baron. You can't be demon. Yeah. So what I, I would say he's is the demon killed nobody work. around Dave at all until the end. So the demon was not concerned with poisoning Dave. Clearly, right. Dave is a demon. I thirty I just seconds. Want to say that Rob is doing a lot of work to make himself look sus at zero hour. I'm gonna go Dave. Really to what? I guess that is true. I thought he was right. going to Colson's gonna nom nom Dave, please. Colson nominates Dave. Tell us why. Uh, he's just one of my uh, only two living balloonist pings. It has to be him or Rob, and I do think we've all sort of felt Rob was more of a minion this game. Dave. Evil will rise up. We've lost. All right. Th we'll three will tie. Four to execute. Let's not tie. Yeah, don't tie. Let's not do that. Four. Yeah. Really struggling to understand this one. I, I do. Uh, yeah, so am I. Because both Dave and Rob knew I was the farmer. And I still lie. Five is enough. There it is. Dave's on the block. The Rob, would you like to nominate yourself? No, thanks. Dave is executed and dies. And I would like to give my congratulation to Hello. Rob's Perfect. team. Oh, wow. Okay. In fact, Let's rewind. We are playing a very heavily paranoia-induced script where every death is called into question. Were they evil? Was I poisoned? So let's go back in time to the very first night where there was a demon kill. And I believe that was Me. Ash, your fortune teller. Okay. Who's, who night one 
had a uh, no on uh, her neighbors, Eric and Rob. Uh, Ash was not a minion killed uh, thing. And Eric, your oracle, was getting true information, which was that no dead people were evil. Um, we can also rewind a little bit to um, Richard, your monk, who was killed night three, I believe. Yep. Uh, yeah. Richard spent the entire game protecting Colson. Your vigor mortis. Oh, it, Congratulations. Oh, goes to the evil team. Um, Tiffy, your investigator, saw a baron between Rob and Mark. Right, Tiffy? Correct. Wrong. Yes. You saw Rob and Eric, actually. Check the tapes. Uh, but oh. but oh. Rob is your poisoner <laughs> who started as the baron. But Tiffy, in your first conversation, you went to Eric and said Mark and then convinced yourself it was Mark for some reason. And I thought it was just a ploy, but I think you legitimately convinced yourself it was Mark. Good thing I didn't spread your information, Tiffy. Uh, I did. I was poisoned. Rob was your starting baron turned poisoner by Jerome the Pit Hag, who uh, night one turned, uh, night two turned Rob into the poisoner. And then night three turned himself into the fortune teller, which didn't work because there was already a fortune teller in play. That was Ash. I for the time was creep. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, we're executed the next day. Sick Nick was indeed the farmer who died while poisoned by Rob, the poisoner, going into the final three. Dave was your empath, except for really he was the drunk. Yeah. Sat between Jerome. You got a, you got a, a sober and healthy one on the first night, and then we gave you a bunch of zeros. You were not poison locked. You were just drunk. However, just to make sure, Rob threw a little bit of poisoning in there for the, the next few nights, just to make sure you were extra, extra covered. Uh, Mark, your mayor, who uh, on one night, the first night you were targeted and killed, mayor bounced to Tiffy the investigator. And then the next night, uh, after a long and healthy uh, debate, we decided to let the second vigor kill on the mayor go through. And Mark died, leaving Becca was indeed the barber who uh, the demon chose not to make any swaps last night. And that means there was not a single vigor killed minion. And you guys are just paranoid for no reason. See, I was right about that, but I thought it was Dave. And I told Colson I thought Dave would be would do that. I, I told you I'd be sad, Colson. I told well, you I was drunk, but I won the demon any damn way. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I like, I mean, I knew I was being poisoned. <laughs> yes. You were yeah. only poisoned one time, Signic. That's yeah, true. Well, I mean, it's the time it mattered. Yeah. <laughs> true. <laughs> true. I thought Colson was going to claim farmer or something, which I was like, oh, oh it's going to work. But I thought about it, but I thought Nick being poisoned made more sense at the end. It did, yeah. Minion, it worked out, I right? I poisoner spy world, so, yeah. So uh, Colson gets a. Uh, she even unlocked win as a vigor mortis without killing your own minion. Or barber swapping. Yeah. Or claiming farmer. Or barber sw- And claiming a balloonist, <laughs> yeah. which is expendable after night th- uh, four, right? You made a really confusing game. <laughs> yeah, good script. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Good job. Oh my God. Thank you. So I hope you guys had a lot of fun. Uh, Nat. Natalie, uh, awesome script. Congratulations on winning our Mono Demon contest. And uh, when we started this contest, we, we kicked it off because we crossed 500 members on our Discord server. And by the time we ran the script contest itself, we're at like 650 or 660 or something like that. So if you're not already, join .thegrim.gg. Jump on our Discord server, hang out with us, come play games with us. We're a lot of fun most of the time. We're at 642, so you could be our 650th member. That's true. You could be. So, Jeebus uh, was 642. I Congratulations. I won all three out of my three games tonight. Uh, <laughs> my team's... Oh, my we team have another awesome. nationally ranked clock. Oh, yeah, you're nationally ranked. <laughs> nationally ranked. <laughs> uh, I think we hit the minimum number of... Nah, I'll, I'll let, I'll let uh, Mike keep that moniker. So thanks for uh, staying up, Nat. Thanks, everyone, for playing. I uh, hope you guys had a lot of fun. We're going to be off for the rest of the week. No more streams this week, but we'll be back next Monday with April Fool's Day episode. It's April Fool's Day. We'll do something fun. Uh, so yeah. come check us out. Uh, we'll figure out what it is. I have. I actually do have a script that I'm putting together that Brian's been helping me with, 
and that's uh, not finished yet. So I got I got to finish it this week. All right. Sounds great. Good night, everyone. Good night, chat. Good night, Good night YouTube. Good night, Twitch. Good night.